everybody, everybody, and welcome to, uh, to, to the first, to the, uh, to the, to the, uh, to a, to a token round of birthday riffable event. As you'll notice, look asp, we have a new logo, courtesy of me. And yes, I know, not all the greens match, match, I did, I worked with what I had, people. But whose birthday is it? To that we go to Kogami. Kogami son! Yeah, cake boss! Take it away! Yes, Sibarashi to our own Zeltrex Millennium, who turned 33 today. 33 years old. For one reason, I still don't feel wiser. They would never really get any wiser when they turn... Or when they get old. I thought their brain slowly just turned into mush. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I'm making a joke! I know. I was playing along. Anyway. Playing along. Anyway. <laughs> uh, now, this is going to be a little bit difficult to basically introduce because, well, <laughs> we, uh, I don't think that music track is on Spotify. Yeah, just yep. use whatever theme song you can get your hands on. Wait, yeah. hold on. Hold on. I have a backup plan. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. That's not it. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Wait, wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. DMMT. Bingo! Found it? Damn, that was quick. Thank you. Thank you, SoundCloud. Yeah, here's hoping one of the bots can actually play SoundCloud links because YouTube uh, is being yeah, finicky. It, it, can, can. it can. It can. That's why I picked SoundCloud. Anyway. Go. That's what we're looking at today. Well, we're celebrating Mayhem in another way, and this was at the request of ZM. Let's, it's time to head back to New York! With TMNT 2007. Yes, the Imaji Studios animated Ninja Turtles movie. The, the image sheet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, anyway, anyway, uh, <laughs> so, uh, I'm assuming you're gonna go over the history while I go grab, grab popcorn and such, right? Uh, mm -hmm. are we not doing intros? Yeah, but I'm gonna ha I'm gonna yeah. pull it up on myself. Oh, I'm gonna pull it up how on myself do I as keep, well. How do I keep forgetting this shit? Fuck. <laughs> you need to you need to you need to get you need to get better on that shit. Uh, hi, of course, I'm kind of a love it over long, real guy extraordinaire. Deal with his team with my own jump, the fanboy fly for like on ninety eight. Oh, Nina, how old you stay? Our birthday review of the money cell tracks. Hi. Our ultra lively fanboy Santa fan. Ultra Too bad we're not watching. not watching a ninja ultra. Oh. Oh. Oh, please! That simp sucks. Fair. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Our uh, pink was YGM. You and finally, our Joker Extreme KF36. Cowabunga! Wow. Cowabunga! Cow Cow no, 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 no. Cow dog shit. 
<laughs> oh, okay, Angry Video Game Yard. I understood that reference. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, I will be back. Flutter! The floor is yours. The computer animated TMNT film is down to with John Woo supposed John Woo supposedly directing, but the project languished in development hell and Wu project. And Wu ultimately will the projects. TMNT, executive produced by the character TMNT, executive produced by the character creator. Departs from the previous film's live action style and is the first CG animated. Writer director Kevin Mun said that he wanted to do. To CGI Tur Because it could. Yeah, everybody forgive Flutter because his mic keeps cutting in and out. Yeah. Yeah, my fan's right in front of me. It's, it's probably why. It would be e because it would be easier for the audience to to suspend disbelief for, for such an offbeat story as there would be no break in the reality between CG. Producer Tom Gray explained that the decision and with each film making less a CG film became a reality. For example, first film made 100 made 44 million dollars. Orange Sky Orange Sky Golden Harvest rights to the film the franchise had expired. Great. Moreau stated in terms of the storyline idea floated as extreme as being in space, but eventually it just came back. I can't. Remember how hot it is. Yeah. Before it as extreme as the turtles being in space, but eventually it just came back to to New York and the and the theme of theme of the family at home. When developing the screenplay, and placed an emphasis on dark, appeal to the mature, had a very specific tone, most people were coming. I think that the version of the movie Wanted to do something where it pushes the on the animation. Monroe said that in design and in the rendering of the animation, after I was one of Monroe's favorite and was the one, and he was the writer of the film. TMNT co-creator Peter Laird stated it places development and pre-production for TMNT and at images production. Art director slash concept style is the familiar Manhattan in an earth. We began with cinematic cues from. I really wanted to push the lighting and the animators that worked on the fight scene. Fired by animation director Kim. Explains that because of. Image he used Autodesk with Pixar's Renderman. 
Jim Cummings was the only. Contributed for the 87. So voice. Games are. And Leonardo, respectively. TMNT would be Mako Iwamaka. Mako was announced as Splinter at Studio Comic Con. He then died the next day, aged 72. A dedication to Mako appears at the end of the credits. Although Mako is the only actor credit. Pointer's dialogue finished. Baldwin had already mimicked Mako. Splinter, along the May I, we also get, may I, we do get, we do get to also dedicate another, another video to Maka, Mako Iwamatsu's final, final acting roles. I swear I don't plan this. Although there are some interesting things about, there are some interesting things about this movie that are kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be some, there's going to be some Easter eggs that we're going to point out, like at, at one certain point in the movie, where we will also have to discuss the timeline of this movie because otherwise, we, otherwise it would be a pretty big fucking train wreck by the end of the movie. Anyway. Time travel is bullshit. Well, I wouldn't think yeah, so. Sentai, that, yeah, Sentai, that button, that button couldn't be any more appropriate. Oh? oh Don't right, worry, right. I'll point it out. Oh, by the way, um, speaking of, yeah, like I said, apparently, I kind of goofed. Because Ratchet uh, had two different voice actors. Uh, yeah. He, uh, Welcome back, DL. He was originally DL. voiced by uh, is it? Ah, uh, Mikey Kelly, who voiced him in the very first game. And then he was replaced with James Arnold Taylor, a.k.a. Is all there? Yep. Anyway. <laughs> Leonardo. So, 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 okay, okay. Uh, have uh, we gone over the movie and history and such of that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. As much as we could. Although, although, although Florida's mic kept turning in and out because of a fan. Oh, damn. Anyway. So, we are watching this movie legally via Paramount Plus, And, uh, I've not seen this movie in a long while. So, let's see how well it's it holds been, up. And it's been a, no, it's been a long yeah. time for me. I haven't. But yeah, we haven't done the voice. Ca we haven't gone over the voice cast, but we'll point them out once them all, once we get to them. Oh yeah. By the way, um, <clears throat> before we begin this movie, I want to establish a few ground rules when it comes to some of the people watching. Yes. Number one, do not try and tie this into the to the live action movies. There are references to it, to it, and references that stuff may have happened, and but it's but it's but consider this an AR world. So yeah, you know, that's ba yeah, that's basically what I actually what I actually brought up a little earlier because the timeline of this movie is completely bullshit. Given what shows up later, can I hit it again? Fuck it, do it again. On it. Time travel is bullshit. Thank you, Johnny. And again, we'll point them out when we get to it. Now, ready? Hit the button, Frank. I am the button. <laughs> I am the button, dude. Mother Wait. of God. Oh, are. shit. I forgot on my phone. Oops. We're back. 
Well, it's a good thing uh, we just got to the... Now, let's see. Okay, where's Bugs? He's late. Yeah, he's, st he's still on strike. Damn it. Pay your writers and, and actors, people. Yeah. Last I heard, they were gonna make amends, though I have not heard any word word on updates. Uh, okay. Wow. Now we're good. So, also fitting that since the newest movie, which is Mutant Mayhem, is out, so we're watching the first TMNT film while the current animated movie is out. Mm. Yes! And by the way, TMNT Mutant Mayhem, Go watch it! It gets my seal of approval! Hey Mikey, he likes it, he likes it! Okay. Weinstein Company. Boo! Anyway. I love you, I love you die in prison, Weinstein. Rainfire! No, it's oof. Yeah, it is. Oof. That looks like fire to me. Supposed to be so that's where Slimer's been. <laughs> no. That would be the nice. funniest idea. Oh. Wait. Hi, no subtitles? Uh, um, uh, excuse me, what? Check settings. No, no subtitles. The fuck? Son of a bitch. Dang it. Hey, fuck. Oh. I guess. Hi, Lor Hi, Morpheus. Yeah, Lawrence Fishburne's the narrator. No, wait. What are we saying, guys? Rats? Is that you? I thought you were dead. I got better. Yes, I made a a Osmosis Jones reference. Okay. That's the only. Gonna... That's the only hint you're gonna get of the Shredder. And I'm not gonna lie. Period. That, I won't. I won't tell it. That image of the shredder. Oh my god. I think it was. From, I think it was from one of the recent comics at the time. Look oh, badass. Thanks. All right. Let's see. You see, two thousand years ago, superstition and the sword rule. Three thousand years. Ago. <laughs> no, 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 Floyd, He had it right. Long ago in a distant land. <laughs> that couldn't be any more. That couldn't be any more appropriate. Mm -hmm. So, Gilgamesh? Game of Thrones? No, no. If it's Game of Thrones, we haven't seen a, we haven't seen a lot of boobs. Yo, did you put in the wrong movie? I thought we were watching TMNT. Not three hundred. <laughs> Oh, no, I wasn't thinking. You know, are you are we playing? Are you playing Legends of Hyrule Warriors? Nah. Oh shit. So he was some trying to summon Queen Ben Shira's forces. Got it. Wait. Oh my god. You know what happens? What? He found the prize. He's the Highlander. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, oh, check oh. it out. Equivalent in exchange. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait. Pretty much. Well, you need that going goal skill, right? Oh, son of a bitch. The Eel Queen bench just forces. Mother of God. And sadly, you won't get to see a whole lot of these monsters throughout this movie. Well, Not on the budget. Actually, about that. We actually do get to see them in individually. Yeah. A lot of them, were ca a lot of them get captured off screen. 
They're saying that right now. Wait. So we're watching Team NT equivalent to Pokemon? Oh no no, what am I thinking? Wait on Stitch. Planets in the constant, let's say constellation, stars going into a perfect alignment. Mother of God. Let's see, stars in perfect alignment. Let's see, there are several different spells that could be involved in. Uh, we could be summoning a super demon. Uh, we could. <laughs> um, we could also be summoning a a demon from the dark dimension uh or bring or bringing in some titans that too that too a lot of the rituals involving the stars aligning and isn't there i uh, let's see there's probably like yeah probably like central america oh so we're so we're in wakanda got it <laughs> Not, not I mean, I mean, again, you make, I mean, you make the joke, but we're dealing with poachers who's in a foreign land, so we're not that far off from off from the opening to Black Panther. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ball. Hi. Hi, John DiMaggio. Oh, yeah. yeah, that does sound like John DiMaggio. Hi, Ralph. No, no, you want me to think? It's, um, um, Rick. Rise of the Beast. The, the, dust, trans the dust Transformer. Transit, that's right. That yeah, boy. Wait, Cortez. Where's Miguel Antonio? Cortez, but, Cortez, but we're not in El Dorado. Yoink! <laughs> oh no, no, wait, guys, you know what we're dealing with? Yarn up! We're dealing with a ghost that walks. The ghost of the jungle. Ghost, ghost, ghost of the jungle. Hey, hey, ah! Are, can Wait. I finish with my joke, please? Also, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Ghost, ghost, ghost of the jungle, strong as he can be. Dun, 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 dun. God damn it! <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not wrong. I, no, 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 no. What you don't understand is, it's not a ghost of the jungle. It's a ghost who walks. Ah, you caught my phantom reference. Anyway. Again, my old. I am phantom. Do you know who you're dealing with, you son of a bitch? Also, where are you? Hi. Here. Okay, KR, I appreciate the Batman Re Begins reference. I will say this. Hey, real quick, I want to comment on this. The CG for yeah. the movie still looks pretty good today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It doesn't look it's almost sad. It's almost sad that Maji Studios had to file for bankruptcy later on. Oof. Yeah. There are parts where a lot, don't, Astro don't Boy. Okay. I'm going to. I'm throwing in the mi minority here. I actually like the Astro Boy movie. Yeah, the live Yeah, the CG animated Astro Boy movie is not that bad. And of course, Leo. And of course, Leo kicks his fucking ass because it's fucking Leonardo. I'm pretty sure he killed him. Oh no no no! Remember. He's not dead. Yeah, he isn't dead. Leo doesn't kill. Remember? I don't think. I don't think any of the turtles ever killed. But but where, but where but where did the hunter go? 
I'm on the bed. I'm on the bed. He has me tied up somewhere in the jungle. Probably. Nobody dies in this movie. That is good. Just really, get really big, 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 big What did I tell you? Oh hi! Oh hi, Buffy! April. Yeah, that's Sarah Michelle Geller. Oh no, As what am I thinking? Really Neo. Oh, wait, what am I thinking? That's that's Daphne from the live action Scooby Doo movies. Yep. You know, <laughs> Fifth sister or seventh sister. Also, you, also, I find it funny. She voices yes. April here, yet Buffy is also technically a redhead. Son yeah. I mean, think Sarah Michelle Gellar is getting typecasted sometimes. Yeah. Same with I Daphne. Will, but I will say this, though. Is Sarah's portrayal of Daphne in the uh, Scooby-Doo movies? How notch. I'm, yep. I mean, you can't bad. really go and wrong. Of April's wrong with trying her. to track down Leo. True. Also, you can't really go wrong with Sarah Michelle Gellar in live action. I mean, the woman was picked to be Buffy for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I even, I even love the fact that we have a kick-ass Daphne. Yeah, wait a second. Yes. We got a kick-ass... We got a kick-ass Daphne in a Scooby-Doo movie. Normally, she'd be the dance on distress. So... Not anymore! Yeah! And I will say this, Freddy comes Jr. as, well, Freddy, he nailed the character. Oh, yeah. And, of course, we can't forget the, um, Freck. I forgot the actress who played, uh, Velma. Yeah, Linda me. Cardellini. Yeah, she did a fantastic job as, as Velma. Also... I love the jabs they made at uh, at uh, Shaggy's actor in Looney Tunes back in action. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ten years later, he would. What kind of a he would be what there. kind of performance do you call that? You made me you sound like a total space cadet, man. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. I was just trying to be real to your character. If you goof on me in the sequel, I'm coming after you. Yeah. What? Don't get your Scooby Snare. <laughs> Ten years what, later, I, what, Looney Tunes back in action. One hell of a drug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you have, um, I mean, you have Ron motherfucking Perlman in it. Ron mothering Perlman. Anyway. And not, the, not only that, we also so have Bond. Yeah, hey, I'm still here. Ah, okay. Also, it's April. How do we know it's April? Because she's wearing yellow. Hey, Ratchet. Hey, Leo. Leonardo. Hi, Voiced Ratchet. by... James Arnold Taylor. Who... Hello there. Who also yep. big, big time Ratchet. One more Kenobi. And also for those who are big oh. Ratchet and Clank fans, yes, that's the current voice for Ratchet. Also, General Leonardo. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of works. Wait. Who voiced uh, Leonardo in the O3 series? Michael Center Nick West. Wait. Yeah. You'd think I would know that the, the reference. You want to know why I see that? Why? What is Leonardo's nickname? Leo. Leo. And who did the who did his VA voice in Gal Gygar? Uh, oh God, poor Don. He has uh, to work poor, at tech support. Uh, running tech support. And voice for Donnie, Mitchell Whitefield. Oh, uh, Whitfield. Who, uh, and made... we've technically heard him in some other projects. Huh? In um in the in the show which he was the main villain, Phobos. Also in uh 
the uh, Transformers Robots in the Skies, I think, 2015? He was Fix It. Yeah. Oh, God. Nice. Paycheck to paycheck, but still, though. You hate oh, it. Oh, he was up in my... You. No, I just don't like the cartoon in general. Ah. Ah, he was also my cousin Vinny. Hey, he was also the character. He was also the character, Mister Blaine, on the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Wait a minute. He's he's also the voice of Russell Thorne in Hellboy: Sword of Storms. He was also oh. the voice of Clerm on Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Oh right, that guy. That was a twerp. He was also in Kirby Enthusiasm. That is and also DL. You've also heard him in a in a uh, video game. Which one? Bruiser Cruiser in Skylanders Trap Team. Really? Yes. Man, no idea. That's cool. Oh. Oh no. Again, poor poor Donnie. He's running tech support for idiots. No, and he has to deal with the worst evil ever. Karen's. Yep, Karen's over the phone. Never fun. Wow. <laughs> uh, I hope that I never have a job again, like that. Or Donnie. Same. <laughs> Guys, you would have to you would have to shoot me before I take a tech support job. Uh, wait. Guys, do me a favor. Oh. Yes. Mm. If I ever at any point were you know, to get into a position like this and in terms of a job, remind me of this scene from, from TMNT and warn me to get the fuck out while I still can. Got it. Duly noted. Also, uh, have you tried wait. turning it on and off? Wait a minute. Oh, God, he's guys. He's trying to put it in. He's, he's doing what Emmy was doing, and that was a part-timer. And Mikey's oh, doing... Birthdays. Oh, so what, like what happened with Winston and uh, or Mikey? Ow! Which is you actually oh, and, he gets, and he said he gets beat up by kids on their birthdays. Eh. You know what the little detail I do like about this? What mm -hmm. in the costume? He he has a fake zipper in the front to make to make make it obvious that it's a costume. Nice. Ah. Also, oh nice my one. god, I just realized how cool this is. We only have two ratchets in this in this movie. I was gonna I was gonna bring that up. Yeah. Folks, the voice for Mikey, and I'm not kidding, is the original Mikey voice Kelly of Ratchet from the very first game. Who also played a few other not notable the... roles, including Alistair in the Beautiful Joe series. Erase. Go -Go, baby. Silver Surf from oh. Superhero Squad. Commandi from Batman Brave and the Bold. Oh, uh, DL. He also played the character. He also played the character Spence in the episode True, True, True Face of a Monster in Extreme Ghostbusters. Oh my God, guys! In uh the episode Jimmy. You know the the you know that episode. From Sad Shock, yeah. Sad Shock. He was the. He, was Nick he played Connor. Nick Connor. Oh, that was the bully! The a-hole. Mm -hmm. Also in- Oh, also... he actually played- He actually played a, uh, one of the- one of the gang members in attendant and a helicopter pilot in the episode Kevin Eleven from Ben 10. And, and also, he was the character, er, Bill McLemore in Scooby-Doo and was... Cyber Chase. I was gonna bring that up. In fact, if I remember- In fact, if I remember correctly, let me actually double check real quick- Also- Real quick here. Know about that one episode of uh Jim of uh, one episode of Static Shock. Yeah. Remember who Jimmy is voiced by? <laughs> uh that's Alpha. Son wait. Oh my god. Wait, wait you're kidding. Nope. Look oh, it up. Oh I just hold on. Oh I hold just real Oh yeah, um, I just I just remembered. It's not the it's not the same actor, but um, one of the voices for 
One of the voices for Kevin Eleven, uh, Charlie Slatter, is actually going to be at Metal Arc Comic Con in a couple of months. Oh. I'm actually going to be able to meet the guy. Nice. All right, let's. All right, see. and he was actually let's the, move on. He was actually the first. He was actually the first voice of the DCAU. Oh, son of a bitch! Yep. Before um, yeah, before target. Lux came along. Mike, help! 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 Oh, Mikey might have gotten hit in the nuts. Mikey may be a party dude, but. That party was too wild for him. Ah, uh, yes. Badass vigilante. Hey guys, look. Rats, rats oh, common rider. You know, I didn't <laughs> own <laughs> many of the toys from 2007, but I know for a fact I own an, I owned the Night Watcher toy with its motorcycle. Yeah, the Night Watcher, that's his vigilante name. Which, honestly... The New York was it Rob that's back? Let me try oh, this. hey Jim. Hi, Jim. And Rap, voiced Jim. by I Nolan Jim. North, aka Animated Deadpool. Oh, but yeah, Animated and also, Deadpool. and already, and all, and already, Rap is already or is already more of a vigilante than Stephen Amell. Oh! Damn, being so. No, I'm so gonna. Oh, yeah. no, no, I'm so gonna throw shade. Out. No, I'm so gonna throw shade at Steven, Steven Amell for for not for not um sticking with sticking with his fellow actors regarding the picket lines. No, what? No, what do you think that? By the way, guys. Yeah. Vigilante lives in New York. That isn't rap. That's Batman. Nah. Um. Hunter, Batman doesn't live in New York. Actually, Zim, I get what you're getting at. New York or, Jer or New Jersey? I think he's getting at the what fact that the Gotham looks lo resembles a real life city. No. What? Gotham is either New York or New Jersey. It flip flops. Hold on. Hold huh. on. Interesting. Anyway. I am, Vigen. I am the Knight. I am Night Watcher. Okay. Also, uh, doesn't have the night. Doesn't have the same ring to it. No, 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 no. I, I, I yeah, let, let, let me make my let me make my own Batman jokes here. Okay, <clears throat> right My parents are dead. Ed, Cal I'm the city. I'm, I'm, I'm the hero for the city. Eddie, he needs, but not the hero the city wants. <laughs> By the way, K, am I getting that image? Of uh, Batman with the TMNT, where he's like, eh. but yeah, uh, I looked it up. Apparently, Gotham is based on Chicago, according to you know, oh, no Nolan. Hi, Jim. Oh, we also know Nolan North as the voice of Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series. Oh, yeah. And a few others. Mm. Apparently, mm. he voiced Sod in Injustice. Huh. Also, something really yes, cool. Yes, you know, I'm not. Thank you for making that. Thank you. Thank you for making that contribution to our game. We're stealing a fucking toaster. Why also, not? Also, uh, so there's a fun little little fact regarding the whole thing with the Night Watcher or toy, which I always really liked. So the thing eh. is. Thing is, of course, you can take off his helmet and you know reveal wrath. But you might be wondering. But the thing is, the headband isn't attached. Is there a little secret? His shell opens up to reveal a compartment where the rest of the headband goes. What? The... Nice. I always nice. found that a really cool. Would be really cool. Cool engineering. Huh? Guys, apparent. There's gonna be a Army of the Dead animated series. I'm not surprised. I am. That movie did do well. Oh! ZM, you're familiar. Of course, we're also familiar with him in video game wise, yeah. other than Deadpool. He was the voice uh, of Hold On. Oh! Wait, that's not the one Ooh, right in the face. You know who that is? It's the Ghost Rider. 
Yeah, this isn't Batman. This is the Red Hood. Oh god, you're right. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not gonna hurt you. Much. Boom! Oh, I will say, you know, I hate. To, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing that Nolan is using, is like, portraying how Ralph was in O three. I'm guessing O three was where the inspiration with his temper came from. Hell, hell, hell! Even hell, he even has a budding friendship with Casey, much like, like the O three series. Yep. Yeah. And from what I've seen, breaking up. Yeah, the O three and such helped influence this movie and ironically parts of 07 this movie would come back in like mm -hmm. oh, oh right would be in I remember that back to sewer. I remember that that was fun yeah. he lied because it was still, it was yeah. still fine. anyway anyway <sighs> moving right along also okay I have to mention I have to mention this it. real quick here and this is honestly fucking hilarious Yes. Now I want you my now I want you to pay attention to the sticker up in the corner. Okay. Yeah. Then also pay attention to how they package him. All right. Let's see here. Oh my god. Wow. Seriously, guys. You had one job. Just the one. Just job. the one. Thank you, Loki. Anyway. God. I will say this, though. No North does a good job portraying Wrath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Go back on one. I think I heard a familiar VA. Ooh, for the one the cop? Yeah, for the cop. Uh, oh my god. That's Keith David. Hang on. Hang on. Let me check. Let me check the IMDB real quick. Let's see. <clears throat> Wait, there. There we go. Okay. Uh, give me a minute. I'm... I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, addition, additional voices in the movie. Uh, D. Bradley Baker, Jeff Bennett, Jim Cummings, Gray Delisle, Chris Eggerly, Kim My Guest, Tom Kenny, Jess McNeil, Jennifer Hale, Jess Harnell, Rob Paulson, Phil, Phil Lamar, Paul Michael, Paul Michael Robinson, Tara Strong, and Billy West. Hmm. So maybe, maybe, well, then maybe, well, then maybe it was, maybe it was Phil Lamar. Yeah, probably. That, actually, probably I think. Are. that went up a bit. Also, I just realized something. Yes. He's using his Spider-Man voice. No, Flutter, you're wrong. He's using his ratchet voice. I can tell. Oh, Leo, how wrong you are that your brothers need you now more than ever. He's a yeah. goddamn Batman. Son of a bitch, he pulled a Batman. Wait. Oh, god damn it, my joke stuck. Because I heard bats in it when, when I stated the goddamn Batman. God damn it. Wait, isn't that the, isn't that the, 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 uh, Selma, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the party wagon re, re, uh, repainted for, for Mikey's job. <laughs> uh, does he never worry about someone stealing his car? Well, it's behind, it's behind that It's behind wall. a, it's behind a wall. Fair enough, still. And I will say this. I like And Mike and Mikey take taking the long way home because he has a fucking skateboard. Why not? Hey, 
Look, guys, and Ninja Turtle actually using one of the more, more radical vehicles. Although he's being very extreme! Extreme! <laughs> what the hell was that? Flutter, flutter in the kitchen, probably. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, he said it. Ooh. And that's without the fine boots. Ow. <laughs> also, I have mentioned something that's honestly hilarious regarding the whole thing with thing with uh, thing with TMT03. So you know that scene where Mikey's basically like, you know, oh, oh, like. Like, 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 basically riding on the thing on the skateboard, or, or with his stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Believe it or not, that helped influence us. It's a gimmick line. Oh. Oh, nice. The, the street grinders. But here's the funny thing. Despite Mikey being the one who, one who inspired this, and despite him basically laying on his thing on his belly when he he rides the skateboard, look what his toy does! All right, let's see. And oh <laughs> my got his God. back! Whoops! <laughs> the o the only one who actually does it in the movie. And, and you want to know who? Wait, which two turtles do ride on their stomachs? Let me guess. Leo? Leo and Donnie! Son of a bitch. Wow. Ow. Cl clearly only the, cr only the most intelligent of minds were working when it comes to... Comes to this toy line. No, what they were dealing with was untrained monkeys. Another instance of... A few it Somebody hit the cricket button. I got it. Thank you. Also... That, that turtle's playing Galaga. Didn't think we noticed. Well, we did. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I know something about that robot. Hmm? Yeah. Didn't they use that? Didn't they use that model in oh, an Astro Boy? I think maybe. Be Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Robots in as Hi, Wacko. You know what vibe I constantly get from this movie? <laughs> hmm. Watchmen. Yeah. Yeah, in a sense. Yeah, the, the, the the classic tale of tale of tale of heroes that have retired and are now basically going back into you know, the foray after so long. Actually, no. You know what advice I was getting? What? Incredibles. Mm, what's up with both? Yeah. That works both? too. It is weird how we're doing this in a in what is a new start for for newcomers. No, Rat finally decides to wake up. Oh! oh. So and, that's the uh, fucking knife. 
And thus we come to the to one of the last of the main characters of this movie, Splinter, voiced by oh, the oh. late great Mako Iwamatsu. Who many people? I don't know him, by the way. He passed away the day after he was announced. Anyway, who many people in? Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. In Avatar, he was Iroh, right? He was. He was yes, the original. He was, yes. he was Uncle Iroh. Yeah. He was okay. Uncle Iroh. Okay, making sure didn't want it. Didn't want to goof. But he yeah, was, sadly, and... sadly, but sadly, before before principal recording principal recording finished for this movie, that's when Mako passed away. But thankfully, Greg Baldwin filled in for the rest of it since he was already a pretty I damn good voice double for Mako anyway. And that was before Principal Photography started. The day after he was announced to be voicing to be voicing Splinter. Also, and for the big Samurai Jack fans, yes, it's the Shogun of Darkness. I, Aku, Aku. Aku the shape shifting master of darkness. <laughs> God, how did you do that? Also, <laughs> also in Super Mario Monkey Team Hyper Force Go, we really should look at that one day. Hey, he was should. Master o her O'Fay. Hey, in one of the episodes, and oh. also he was the narrator. Apparently, he was also the narrator for Dex's Laboratory. I did not know that. Anyway, yeah. Huh. Nope. Also, nope. he is the first Splinter to be voiced by an actual a Asian person. Also, oh you're, yeah, you're you're right. Holy shit! This is the ah. first time Splinter was voiced by an actual Asian. Also, Raphael, do not make me get get Zuko. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of, but yeah, speaking of, speaking of this, speaking of this movie, we can actually have two of our two of two kind of Easter eggs for this movie, and what throws really? the time space continuum down the fucking toilet. T D B I T T I B. Yeah, on the on the on the wall when Splinter comes out of the shadows, you you actually see a trophy wall given given to the turtles' um, victories, which which yeah, gonna, which in, which includes you can a already few notice, things. You can already notice two of them. There's actually I actually noticed four of them. Four. The shattered T oh, the, well, well. the, the shattered TCRI high canister, the Shredder helmet, the Shogun helmet from the first movie. And finally, the time scepter from the third movie. What third movie? There wasn't a third you know, movie. Gotta, you know, I honestly gotta wonder. And you wanna know what's actually kind of weird regarding regarding Shredder's helmet? What? What? I know that. I know that style specifically. That's from the first movie, not movie two. You're right. It, you're, you're right. It is because there's no race. There's no. There's no sharp edges to it. It's just the. It's just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, and the only way, and the only way the turtles would have been would have been able to fish that, fish that shit off old Shredhead was in movie two when he died. So, oh, so, so that likely means in this oh, continuity. Uh -uh. So, that likely oh, means that in that in this continuity with movie two, Shredder did die in movie one, but they still faced a threat that created the mutants in movie two. Oh God, we're going cross side. Yeah, and it's gonna get even it's gonna get even worse with another character later. Should I hit the the button now or later? No, no. Later. Also I will say this, I kinda like Splinter's design. Yeah, it it kinda Oh yeah, it kinda You know, DL, you wanna know what's kind of insane? What? And and again, it's gonna throw a monkey wrench into the into the TMT space time continuum. What? His outfit? Two thousand three Splinter with shoulder pads. Holy it shit, is, right? yeah. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> it's orange fur. By Pegasus. Are you sure Are it's you orange fur? I think funny? it's brown. Orange, and... brown, orange brown, somewhere in yeah. between. Yeah, I see. So you know what's actually kind of funny? What? Hmm. Nolan North would voice Splinter in one of the games. Really? Oh. Yeah. It would be Mutants in Manhattan. Oh, <laughs> that one. The one no one gives a shit about. Okay, Ironic. I have to... And so there was actually a... There was actually a video... video game. There was actually a video game um, for, TM, for TMNT. It was a TMNT Smash Up, which 
ironically, use the design oh! from, the, from this movie, but use the O3 voice cast. Oh, I oh I had wow. that game. I had that game. Name it. It sucked. So let me guess. Yeah, it was not a good Smash Bros. clone. So I'm guessing with when they used the mods for from 07 and used the 03, I'm guessing that they had. Let me see if I remember. They had Justin Voice and Splinter. Yes. Yep. Uh, they had. Uh, Freck. I'm trying to remember. Sam Regal Voice and Raph. Okay. No, 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 no. Sam uh, Regal. Sam Regal was Donnie. Greg Abbey voice. Okay. Uh, the voice actor for Tristan voiced Raph. Okay. Greg Abbey, yeah. Which is honestly kind of funny in a way. Of uh, um, we. Oh, sorry. What the hell? I didn't even realize I could do that. You could actually we hear some of the voices in behind the voice actors. I never knew that. But, yeah. Yeah. I... They had uh, uh, Wayne Grayson for Mikey. Yep. And I'm guessing basically, basically the basically the voice actors from the from from the O3 series reprised their roles for the video game. Wow. They think because the movie stars were were too busy were too busy to record additional audio for the video game, which is honestly you know fine because all honestly I'm willing to bet that they're really busy with like other projects. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Unless I think this was when the show was like ending and such, so they were like, "Well, we need to keep them going until the 2012 comes out." Yeah, which the thing yeah. is, thing is, Nightwatcher was one of the characters you could unlock in the game. Okay, I think I'm... it was. A, I think it was for. I think it was behind a lot of prerequisites in order to get him, though. Uh, actually, no, really? no, 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 no. That, that wasn't it. Uh, you, you actually could unlock him by beating the arcade mode. Not oh, cool. The thing was. Anyway, could, moving the, on. I I, 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 I remember this. You unlocked at okay. least uh. <clears throat> Four different characters by beating the arcade mode. Oh, um, you okay. unlocked locked Karai, the the Ultraminator, uh, Night Watcher, and finally Shredder himself. Okay, I'm actually curious how the Night Watcher looks. The Night Watcher was pretty much the same model as the movie. Yeah, it doesn't look that terrible. And it almost sounds like, and Splinter almost sounds like, you know, Mako sounds like he's using his Aku voice. Sounds like Iroh more than Iro. No, it's his Iroh Iro voice. Is he yeah. It's yeah. his Iroh Iro. voice. Oh, okay. Is Aku? Oh, voice look at Splinter! More. I do not want to. I do not ever want to see Splinter sad again. Give that rat a hug. Also, another thing: the idea of Leo being sent away for training. Hmm, where have I heard that before? Yeah. Again, again, this movie just the movie just loves to. Sh this movie just likes to shake the space time the space time continuum like a baby. Yeah, it, it yeah, it's it's it, it, it pretty much this thing pretty much tried to take parts from 2003 and mix them with the movie, with the live action movie. Which it doesn't work. You know what it actually reminds me? In the Ratchet and Clank uh, movie, they would they would use um they would use uh weapons from like the past games. And mash it all together. Ah, flip phone. Now I feel God, old. God, I... as was the style at the time. As was the style oh. at the time. Oh no, you guys! She's going to use it to transform into a, a rider that fights uh, undead people. No, no. wrong <laughs> kind of flip phone. I know. I had a sneak of fives joke in here somewhere. YGM. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, Casey. Voice of this Brooklyn's ass. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, people. 
people, as in Captain America, Chris Evans. Which, fun fact! Or if people who actually were from the piece of shit. <clears throat> Fantastic movies. Those movies weren't bad. Okay, here, okay, counterpoint. And Fantastic is the piece of shit. Four, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer weren't bad. Wait a minute, he wasn't in yeah. Fan Force. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Also, I was I was referring to the the other ones, the ones of uh, that that had a uh, um. Frick, some of the actors who played. Alba. Well, the one who played Reed. Eddie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one guy was a anyway. dick. Anyway, anyway, but um. <clears throat> But fun fact, people, did you know that originally Sarah Michelle Gellar and Chris Evans were not the ones who were going to play, play voice. April yeah. to voice April and Owen Casey? Oh? So who's going to voice them? Uh, so uh, Casey was really going to be voiced by Quentin Flynn. Uh, who? Axel. No, as Axel oh. from Kingdom Hearts, or for Metal Gear fans, right, right, right now, I remember, and I got it memorized. Yeah, but yeah, and uh, and uh, Quentin and Flynn is actually somewhat of a dick, so it's better that he didn't. However, the second VA yeah, he was going to be voicing in April is less. Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, Flutter, tell us, who was going to be the sec? who was originally going to voice April? One. Oh, now I remember him. Am I like the teenage robot? Oh, Shungan. Oh, right, that was him. And also in the 94 Spider-Man series, he voiced Human Torch. Yup. Trying to find it. Okay, you know what? I'm, okay, I find that ironic. Also, okay, okay, I find I'm that ironic. Gonna... Find a time, please. Quentin, Quentin Flynn voiced, voiced the Human Torch in the 94 or series. But, yes. series, series. But then... But then, freaking, and and Chris Evans and vo and and replaced him as the voice of Casey in the in the Human Team movie. But then Chris Evans also played the Human Torch in the live action and Fantastic Four movies. Wow, that is meta. What is fucking meta? But yeah, but yeah, see, we get to see it more later, but. We actually get to see a bits, other bits and pieces of the "quote unquote" victory shrine and the light and the in the turtle lair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so who was the original voice? Yeah, we get, for yeah, we get the. Um, we're, we're not going to see. We're not going to see it much le in, near the end of the. We're not going to see it much near the end of the movie. But we're going to. We're also going to be seeing, of course, as we mentioned, the TG, the TGRI canister, this movie Shredder's helmet, and apparently his staff's in the shot. Oh. A live-action movie, Foot Ninja Mask. Ah! Receptor from the third movie. Uh, found it. Found it. Found it. Walker's, Walker's hat from the, Walker's hat from the third movie. Wow. Um, okay, so anyway, that that the, fucking that fucking jackass. So the thing is, helmet and mask that the turtles wore in the third movie, and finally, okay. and finally, Lord Norinaga's armor and helmet. I don't know how they were able to get a hold of that shit. Mauser parts, a Triceraton space helmet, and Splinter's robe from the first three movies. Okay, wow. okay, okay, okay. I found it. I found the tweet. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, the original VA who was going to be the voice of... Voice of fucking... April. And, and yeah. April was Nika Futterman. Uh... Uh, you know her for a few vo yeah. for a few roles, including in being the voice of oh I don't know, Asajj Ventress. Oh, oh dear. 
Now I remember. But what? Harvey did... Weinstein wanted a wanted a full celebrity cast. So, fuck you, Harvey. Thank you. Fuck you, Weinstein. So yeah, yeah. We so on um, so. On one hand, we didn't miss out when it comes to Quentin Flynn because I honestly feel you know, Chris Evans was better. Yeah. But Nika Futterman is, is April. That would have been interesting to see, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been yeah. badass. Yeah. By the way, although speaking of celebrity voice actors, you want to know who, who, the, who the villain of the second ah. movie would have been voiced in? Ah. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to him. Also, you know, oh, yeah, also, April and Casey and, and April and clear, Casey are living together. Let's just not get ourselves. Yeah, April. Let's yeah, April and Casey are a clear relationship again. Something they clearly took from the twenty, from the two thousand three movie. Since, well, let's face it, that was the only thing. Yeah. That, the only thing that's missing is a ring on April's finger. Uh well, tracks. Wedding bells. Uh, Wedding bells and bolts didn't a didn't air until. No no, no 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 no. Wedding bells and bites. Wedding bells and bikes. Bites. The wedding bells and bites didn't air at this point in time. So yeah. Uh, I'm just saying yet. that at this point in time, Casey should have put a fucking wedding wedding ring on her finger. Fair enough. Anyway. Uh, uh. Also with, with uh, Chris, I think he's using <laughs> his, I think he's using the voice act for Casey. Okay, I just found so okay something funny regarding uh, in the fact that Nika Farmer was really going to be the be the voice of uh, April of April. Uh, so, uh, it's funny because we have a weird sort of connection with all of these, with most of the voice actors here being the A's in, A's in the Ratchet and Clank games because she was the voice of Juanita in Ratchet. <laughs> It deadlocked. Son of a bitch. Wow. wow. Okay. Um. I want you to know David K. in her sense. What? 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 What is with this movie and having a weird connection to him to Ratchet and Clank? I don't get it. Wait a minute. Actually, okay. Hold on. What year did this movie come out? Uh, 2007. 2007. Give me a minute. Uh, okay, that's actually kind of goddamn funny. Why? Because the mo the game that came out in 07, Tools of Destruction. Also, uh, yes. Also, that belongs in a museum. <laughs> okay, Indy. Also, April looks good in the business suit. Can you imagine her mm -hmm. as a secretary? Uh, give her the glasses first, then we'll talk. And what I also like about the model for for April, she's not too, you know, oh. oh. Damn it, Casey! <laughs> uh, okay, it wasn't me. Born careful, uh huh. She even caught sure, me. Sure, Casey. Wasn't me. Sure. Ah uh, yes. 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 Ah uh, yes. Hi, yes. Patrick Stewart. Yes. Our yes. Fortune. Our 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 main our main villain Max Winters, voiced by Mister Mister Engage himself, Elf and Elf. The the great, mighty, and powerful uh, Sir Patrick Stewart. Sir Patrick Stewart. Bow down to him. There salute to, salute the captain. AKA Charles Xavier. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. What do they call you? Wheels. Awesome. What do they call you? Wheels. <clears throat> Ha <laughs> ha!
Oh my god, they killed Kenny! Nah. Come on. Movie also, um, one of my first exposure to Sir Patrick Stewart was in. Also, here's something I never understood nice Hood about Aguila. Why does he have a wrist claw on his, on his, on one of his hands like Shredder? I, I don't know. Maybe they wanted their own kind of Shredder analog. I don't know. I was actually more, more picturing more Predator. You, 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 you know what I'm wondering? Eh. I'm wondering if originally they had a model made for Shredder. Redder. But at the last minute, they needed they they decided to change it, and they decided to re to basically re they redo the model to be a different character. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I, um, do you mind if I mention something? Go sure. ahead. There was actually a couple of canceled sequels for this movie. Meh. In two thousand seven, Monroe, the the act the director for this movie, he wanted to direct a possible sequel to this movie possibly involving the return of the Shredder. Monroe planned a trilogy of of, mov of movies where the second movie would have adapted the 13-issue comic book saga, City at War. Oh, wait, that was the Michael one with the... Wait, hold on. That was the one with the gang war, right? Yeah, Mikey would have Mikey would have felt rejected and joined the Foot Clan while the Turtles would have traveled to Japan and crossed paths with Karai and Shredder. TMNT 3 would have featured tr tr the Triceratons as well as the Technodrome's arrival from Dimension X. Mor and, okay, you want to know? You want to know who they would have want? Who, they, who Monroe would have wanted to have voice um, Commander Mozar of the Triceratons? Oh, Ooh. please tell me Michael Dorn! Please tell me Michael Dorn! Actually, better. This guy played Kingpin, Michael Clark Duncan. Whoa, dude! That would have been so been cool. That would have been cool. So, 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 so question: How, uh, Who would have voiced Shredder? I don't know because YouTube commenter Rebel Taxi, which pointing pointing him out, noted that these that these sequels could not materialize due to Monroe leaving Imaji with regarding layoffs and uh, also regarding layoffs in the studio, and of course the 2009 Astro Boy movie being a box office bomb. That ultimately led to the company's bankruptcy. In an interview, oh. Peter Laird said he was interested in, in the idea of having the next film be a live-action CGI hybrid movie with the turtles rendered in CG, and both Sarah Michelle Gellar and Chris Evans reprising their TMNT roles in live-action. So, would have been like Rocky and so, Got it. So, however, however, that idea didn't happen. But it would evolve. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me the Michael Bay movie. Yes. Son of a <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. And the well, that was just sad. Thank you, Lockdown. I will say this. Thank you, Lockdown. The idea of Mikey joining the Foot Clan, I would never have imagined anything like that. Like... If anything, I would have always imagined Raph going to the Foot Clan, but Mikey. He, wow. Probably like going through like a, the arc of always being sick of being considered the comedic relief of the group. I could see that. I could see that. And also, the thing is, okay, so despite us never getting to see the oh, he the he God. this version of Shredder on screen, thankfully we do know what the what the what the what the design would have looked like thanks to them releasing a toy of it later in, in the later waves of the line and honestly this design looks pretty decent by the way guys i believe one of our plans is to look at the digimon x movie yeah you're not gonna believe this but Wait, are, are we getting a dub no the Studio behind said movie. Oh right, they did make. They also made X Evolution. Yep. Also, I forgot about that. Kevin Monroe. Funny, funny. We're watching a movie that has Ratchet and Clank vi uh, VAs in here. 
He co-directed the animated movie in 2016. Interesting. Also, another thing when it comes to this Shredder, you can clearly see influences of the of the of the 2003 design in him. Let's see. Ooh. You could definitely see influence of the 2003 design with I when it comes to him, especially with the with the plated armor and the or in the cerulean blue they use for him, which was the same, which ironically enough was the same blue they used okay, for Okay. Um. Okay. Here's a, here's a couple of here's another thing that's interesting regarding regarding um the sequels of of the of this movie because uh the turtle turtlepedia aka the TMNT fandom wiki actually has more information. Uh, Mikey would have run away and joined the Foot Clan, donning a black bandana. Meanwhile, the turtles traveled to Japan, crossed paths with Karai in an adventure, resulting in the return of of, of Shredder. Fans hoping for the return of Bebop and Rocksteady would have been out of luck, as with the 90s live-action movies, the legal rights to use Shredder's most famous minions were not a part of the package. What? Yeah, oh, that is like... bullshit! Oh, TMNT3 would have featured the... Sorry. That's from what yeah. I heard. TMNT3 Later. would have featured the Triceratons as well as the Tectotons arrival from Dimension X, with Donatello being a catalyst for these events. Whoops. To me, that would have been that would have been the third great the, the great third part to that trilogy, says Monroe. The third part is about family rec reclaiming the city. The second movie is the part of the boys growing up, losing Splinter. Yeah, Splinter would have died in the second movie. Oh, inheriting no surprise their there. war. And the third and the third movie opens the world to opens 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 up the world on a level no one would have seen in a Ninja Turtles movie before. Honestly, and, it's a and weirdly and weirdly enough, apparently in the trivia section, the movie is considered to be a continuation of the story arc from the original movie trilogy. That's fucking debatable. Uh, I'll take bullshit for 500, Alex. Oh, uh, Dale, you should have You should have saved that bullshit for 500. Oh, really oh. now? Yeah, let me read the whole thing. This movie is considered to be a continuation of the story arc from the original movie trilogy... And Ninja Turtles next mutation. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good for you, you're wrong. Thank you, Sal. <laughs> Thank you, Sal. You serious? So I've also heard the reason Bebop and Rock City weren't also in the movies was because Laird and Eastman weren't fans of them. Oh, oh. boo fucking huh. who. Yeah, oh, Ethan Laird, um, yeah. Yeah. Still, though, I, still, though, the sequel ideas do sound interesting. Anyway, back to the movie. Awkward. Awkward. No, awkward. Yeah. Casey has the grace yeah. of freaking. Ah, uh, and here oh. come our other villains for the movie. I will <laughs> say, I will say, Patrick's tour to the pretty damn good job in this role. Oh, so, oh yeah, he's he, 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 he gives us a very charismatic sort of, sort of, sort of tone to Winters, which I do like, which fits a billionaire. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yep. Ooh. Also, guys, could you mention? But first, let me put this. Oh wait. Also, I have something interesting to reveal regarding this movie. Oh. Mm. If mm -hmm. I recall correctly, this was the first time that Karai made a media appearance outside of 2003. You're right. Yes. Yeah. And like I said, be like I said the. Before, this movie was supposed to be continuing the, the story arcs of the, of the first three live-action movies, and yet Karai never appeared in any of them. Yeah, also, oh. yeah. Which, uh, her... Do you get the reason why it seems, seems to have hot, oh. a hodgepodge of ideas from the live movies in 2003? Oh. Since I hit the button again, please. Uh, time travel. Got time it. travel is bullshit. So okay, you, Johnny. Let's talk about her VA. Uh, Zhang Zhang Zhang. 
Hey, I'm familiar with this. I'm hey. f- and uh, the thing is, she thing is, uh, oh, she's more she's more of the more known for her known for her live action roles rather than her or than her voice voice roles. Yeah, and I'm familiar with this uh with this lady in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. She played a character named Gan Yu. Oh my oh. gosh, she was the. Sorry, uh, I'll make this quick. She was Red. she was the main baddie in Rush Hour Two. I was One gonna get baddies. to that. I was gonna get to that. But I'm sure that people. That was actually who... her Hollywood debut role. <clears throat> Those who have are big time big Godzilla fans. She played Doctor Elin Chen in King of the Monsters. And Doctor Ling Chen. Because they were twins. Get it? And yeah, also, because of the whole thing with Mothra. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, so I'm gonna smile and nod like I understand. So I haven't seen that movie. Also, oh, so, ah, also in the Mothra fairies and the, the in the movie. Mandarin dub for Way of Water, she was the voice of Ronal. No, 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 no. I haven't seen oh, Way of Water either. I haven't yeah. seen that one either. Although... Anyway. <laughs> but, uh... Moving on to cry. Yeah. Also, before... Oh, before you kill okay. me... I, I was gonna make a quick joke. No, good, 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 good. Before you kill me, let me put this statue up on top of the building and wait till nightfall. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Holy uh... shit! It is Thanatos! Son of a... Yeah, he's just yeah, he's just missing the mullet. Son of a it. But what 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 well the mullet and well the mullet and the beard. And he's also missing his yeah. foxy wife. Anyway. Also, Karai, I it? see the foot. Also, Karai, I see the foot clan is falling in such disarray that you're taking on hired work. Also, Shredder I will admit, would be ashamed of you. Also, I will say this: I kind of like the design mm-hmm. of the foot clan. I was going to get to that. And since it was in the movie, the movie they they look similar to the to, they look like a nice hodgepodge between the O3 designs, the lines, the eyes, the live action, and movie des, he designs, eyes, and most likely influences from the comics. Yeah, there's a lot of influence from the comics here as well. The monsters. Wait. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. I just realized how fitting that joke was earlier. Because one of the first monsters yeah. we see. A gargoyle! The spell is broken. So that's either Lexington or that's Brooklyn. And we live again! Okay, that's either Lexington or that's Brooklyn. <laughs> also, I have a bone to pick regarding the, mo- regarding the movie. He figured this thing. Oh boy. How about mm. Okay, so clearly it's meant to be, you know. Oh. Oh, it okay, hold on. Let me let me see if I can... Let me see if I can find a good picture of it because uh, I really want like really want to talk about this because uh it is very Pretty stupid how they did it. Okay, okay, come on. Where, where are you? Where are you? Okay, I see one picture of you, but where are you? Aha! Wait. Okay, what? Okay, that's stupid! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so clearly the monster is supposed right. to be the gargoyle, but you know what they call it? 
What? Vampire monster. Oh. Like. Oh. Um, and okay. Uh, do you want to see? Okay, so clearly in the movie we know that the at the you know gargoyle is supposed to look you know brown and such like that. Oh no. Yeah. Let me show you what the toy looks like. Oh dear. All right, let's see it and fetch me my fucking tools. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> kind of color scheme pisses me off. Oh, 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 oh and ZM. Here's oh, no. the thing. Hmm. Thing when it comes to this to this figure, it was also made incredibly <laughs> cheap. How cheap, How are, we cheap are we talking? I was playing with this thing for a day, and the head oh, came oh, off. Oh, Did it like? Break off, pop off, you couldn't get it back on again. The body sort of split somewhat and then the head came off and I couldn't get and get the head back on. Oh dear. Actually, no. KR? I... What the fuck? This is for DL. And there we go. And after a day or so with that thing, you want to you know what I did with that figure? What? Tossing in the garbage? Yeah, that was the first figure that I ever tossed in the fucking garbage. Wow. No, seriously, again, that fucking color scheme. Fetch me my goddamn tools! Hey, NECA, or whoever is doing the collectibles figures. If they yeah. ever... If, if anybody ever gets around to doing stuff from the, oh, from the 07 animated movie... Please get them accurate! Please. No, no! Damn it, I didn't hear the voice. I didn't hear what the, what the villains are like. Bungala! Ouch. Ah, oh, ref pulled a bitch on Batman. Also, here's one thing one, yeah. one must ask here. I know that, you know, Raph likes to work solo, but why didn't he ask Casey for... Need to help him out with this. I mean, they both love to pull yeah. the vigilante I'm, shit. I'm on the bet. I know why. Uh, probably, probably Raph wanted to go it alone. That and not get anybody it, involved. That or if April was around. Oh right, she likely had him whipped. Exactly. That's why. Because it she not the mention. Not to mention she would be worried sick if Casey was out was out on the streets again. Okay, yeah. Yep. Also, okay, I have to mention this because I don't even know where this character even came from. I'm guessing it was in early le, le drafts. What character? Tell me. The character's name, the alien hunter, tra her, her, Thrashmo. Okay, let's see. What in the name of sweet? I believe this might have been a concept from one of the from from one of the sequels, because this feels like a Triceraton to me. It looks like it might have been, yeah. Yeah, it is, cause um, you know how I can tell. Look at that big honking gun. That looks like a gun a Triceraton would use. That, and also, it's looking at his face. You have the two horns on the side of the head. And you got the horn on the on the face. Well, it's not. Also, all my well, fucking god! Isn't exactly that fucking... a full horn? Oh. Also, all my fucking god! Isn't that fucking? Isn't that motherfucking MCU Stormbreaker on his uh, on his le on his right thigh? No. Uh, it it looks like it. 
Similar shape to the axe head. He's yeah. right. He's right, though. Anyway. Yes, Raph. It is people. Oh, it's gongly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hear a bit of a echo. And Raph is knocked out like a light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, hold it. And here we go. Meanwhile, the forces of evil. Huh. And that somehow reanimates his old buddies. And also, also wrist mounted claws. Hmm. Yeah, Does I already that sound yeah, familiar. Yeah, I already pointed that out. Wait. Oh, Leo's coming home. Get out the party wagon, boys. I'm coming home. Geronimo! Geronimo! Yay! Also, another thing they likely ripped off from 2007. Hand glider! Oh, yeah. yeah. That was the turtle glider. Wait. We have a ninja using a hang Wait, hold on. Well, have you been watching Ninja Storm? No, wait, hold nah. on, hold on, hold on. Shoot, shoot the Sanjo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Guys, I just had a scary thought go through my head. Imagine the Ninja Turtles meeting the Ninja Storm team. I could see it. Anyway. That would work. Hmm. I anyway, think... everybody's out. Everybody's out like lights. I think Donnie would get along with Cam. Before he before he talks to his brothers, he talk to his father. You, you, you bring much honor to your family. Actually, considering who voices Splinter, I need to get a gift. Oh no! Wait, no, wait, not be good. Be good. Oh, you say that. 
say that. Sweet the lake, Leonardo. You have a problem with that? No, Sensei. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, you guys are gonna kill me for this joke. I had a dream I was, I was with a little silver robot. Really? Yeah, and I had to fight this big doofus who just wouldn't leave us alone. Huh. I had that weird dream ah. too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I had this weird dream that I was a weird devil old guy fighting in some in some guy in a I in a motorcycle outfit. I, think I, I had this it. weird dream that I was building a lightsaber and fighting a Sith Lord. <laughs> uh huh. You think that's weird? I had a dream where I was a merc with a mouth. Yeah, that's online yeah. with you. Oh my god. Oh gods. Deadpool oh god, mini TL, I just realized something. The Deadpool what? comparison is even more apt. Hmm? Oh wait. Remember what color his headband is. Oh, oh my god, it's red! <laughs> and also his yeah. night watch wait. It's even more apt. The color of his night watcher outfit. Wait, 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 back that up. Did, did Mikey see what I thought he said? Back, back it up. You know, mind backing it, back it up to what Mikey said? Okay, a little more. Okay. Son of a bitch! Son of a fucking bitch! Damn it. The reason he's son of a bitch in the very first Ratchet and Clank game. Oh, go right! Play, right, right. Clank, Clank turns Clank into a jetpack. Yup. God damn it. I Ratchet and Clank. Oh, that'd be my stomach. Oh my lord, what am I gonna do with you two? What am I gonna do with you three? Just now. It's all my Donkey Kong. Ah, uh, shit. Do, do, do. And. Oh, Damn Mikey, it. that's obvious. The foot clans suck. Also, wait. Wait, Ramages? You're let, in the wrong movie, pal. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. God damn it. Also, did you guys not hear my Giver, Giver joke? I got it. Damn it, Raph. Eh. Not now. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy was not what Fuzzy Wuzzy. Mm -hmm. And okay. yet, and yet again, another thing that came over from the 2003 cartoon. Right. Leo's rivalry with Karai. Also, I love the kind of woman that kick my ass. It doesn't kick. He doesn't care. Also, Shredder's dead, so th where would this take place? After season three? I think so. 
We straight it's Shredder. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh. Bad monkey. <laughs> Did you really even have a spleen? Okay, bullshit. Those 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 side would have been shredded by and by uh, the and by grinding for so no, long. No, they wouldn't. Really? No, they wouldn't. Yeah. Out there. Wait. Wait. Oh, God, guys. Why am I being reminded of the 95 movie when it comes to uh, fighting in the construction yard? That tends to happen. Oh. Uh oh. And, the here, generals. and here come our, come our baddies. Well, let's see. We got Thor. We got Jackal. So, um, I actually have a fun little thing to reveal regarding, uh, the figure here for some of these. Okay. So okay. the thing is, the only way you could get these figures was in stupid two-packs that re that required you buy a different version of a turtle. Okay. And here's the thing. I'm gonna see if you can spot the issue when it comes to the, uh, to the... Shula to the female general here, General uh, Serpi. Oh. Hold on, Serpentine. Serpentine. See if you can spot what the problem. Serpiente. Ah, okay. Spanish for snake. What in the name of hell? And before you no. ask, oh. it looks yeah, like um, she's uh. Guys. Make I know it. the problem. Hold up. Go ahead. I know the problem with this thing. Mm -hmm. Well, for one thing, barely any detail in the armor, and also articulation non-existent. Also, an also mm -hmm. another problem with this. They did not bother to paint, paint her, paint her chest armor, so she looks topless. Oops. And, 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 and here's the thing. And I'm not even kidding on this. I've checked. There is molding in this thing for her uh, nipples. Excuse me, huh? Uh oh. Yeah! Wow. Class um, act. Class, class act, playmates. Class act. Are we sure they weren't? They weren't be that some of them. Uh, someone who actually worked on this was a burl. I have no idea. Also, another thing was real Sorry. quick. I want. I want to mention because right. this, this is really fucking stupid. Okay. So. <clears throat> so okay, let me try and see if you can guess what the pairing was with each pack. Hack, let's I'm see. Gonna, I, um, for, uh, the female general was paired with... Serpiente, Le yeah. With Leo? No, Mikey. Damn it. I would have said she would have gone with Leo, considering, oh, I don't know, twin blades on her arm? Now, the thing is, you would expect him to basically be, be you know, oh, packed with, with our big, with, uh, the general. The leader of the group, right? Yeah. Wrong. Wrong! He's packed with... He's packed with Wrath! Wow. I'm that makes no his, sense. I'm almost scared what his figure looks like. Actually, his wasn't that bad. Oh. Uh, Kiara, can you help oh. me out here? Okay, All right. what about the... Uh... 
So, Hammer Boy was paired with Donnie. Yeah, the names of the characters are Aguila, Serpiente, Mono, and Gato, which are Spanish for Eagle, Snake, Monkey, and Cat, respectively. Also, she said Monkey. She said David. <clears throat> monkey! Also, Monkey! <laughs> Also, I just realized something in regarding the whole thing and with all the gener generals. Oh, yeah. uh, they are one color coordinate. They need to look away from being a, being a knockoff Power Ranger team. Son of a bitch. Oh, God, you're right. So, let's see. Given, given what happens with the turtles later in the comics, that would be apt. So, let's see. That would be uh, Red Eagle. Yellow, uh, Wait, hold on. Yeah. Yellow cat. Eagle! Um. Sorry. Wait. Wait. Okay. Eagle. Wild cat. Ape. Snake. Also. Hmm. Oh, okay. They they call him a. They call a. Uh, Gato a. Oh, a wild cat. But, uh, but clearly he's based on a saber tooth tiger or a smilodon. Smilodon. I'm not even like... And I'm not I'm even kidding. And I'm not even kidding on, hang on that. Look at his design. Yeah. Look, see? Yeah. yeah? Wait. Oh my god. He escaped from El Dorado. <laughs> also, uh -huh. I've joked right here. Smilodon. Yeah. Oh my god, the Smilodon don't pawn. Nah. He would have stayed behind, but Leo's holding that too. Wait, hold on. Would you Stop it! What about scores? Oh my Would god. I. What? You're gonna kill yeah. me when I make this joke. Go ahead, head. Mm hmm. They are ninjas, but they don't hide. Fuck you. I just smack you for that. YGM, you know? fuck him. I no, have another one better. Thank I you, have another joke? Yeah, this is for you. I do have another joke, given yes. what Mikey was trying to rate. Hey, Mikey, would you say you were trying to rate it a... Smoking sexy style! God damn it, it Mother of God, we haven't used that one in a while. Yeah. Well, they're hunting. They're now fighting Wait. mysterious monsters while eating pizza. Wait. Oh so my God, think... they are, are were, they are protagonists from Devil May Cry. So what'd you guys oh. say there? Like, I can't see it now. Also, so you guys say they're monster hunters? No. In this case, he's right. No, no, no. He's got a point. <laughs> Thank you, Kronk. Also, first time Karai was voiced by an Asian. You're right. Kind of You're right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, winter's being again. Scared. Boom! Yeah. Be so disappointed in you, Karai. Oh yeah. Also, another thing regarding the whole thing with the Foot Clan. When this is clear, this is clearly also taken from the 2003 series because uh, in the movie, Foot Clan weren't anything uh, were about anything but armor. They were always about money. Hold yeah. on, since you said it. We've got to have money. Also, you're welcome. Oh my god, that's the hammer they gave our ape? Okay, I gotta... Wow. That's the general... That, that's, the, that's the hammer that they gave... 
save him. Yeah, that 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 date looks puny, like something you get in a whack-a-mole game. Actually, Gil. Yeah. Gil, you know what that hammer reminds me more of, though? What? What? <clears throat> Three words. Never give up. Son of a bitch, it is the Donkachi. Oh, God. That's no monkey. That's an acorn. Weirdly enough, the of the of the the statue for the the figure for Agula was the only one that actually Agula. had decent yeah. art. Agula oh. was the only one that had decent articulation. Oh, I'm gonna say Agia because yeah, Agia. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, guys. Do my eyes be deceiving me, or is Raph wearing some sort of armor? Yeah, yes. the to these toys were paired with the Ninja to The Ninja Turtle toys were extra gimmick is that they got extra armor. And uh, they got oh. stupid armor and masks to go with them. Um, here's, wow. here's Mikey's. All right, let's see what Mikey's look like. Uh... No, no, seriously, Mikey, you look great. There. There. Well, sure glad I don't look stupid in, stupid in this. <laughs> you both say it at the uh. same time. Uh. Oh! Wow. And, uh, here... Wait, I'm sorry, what is this? Oh, it's the figure that came with the general. Doesn't it look great? Okay. <laughs> Guys, I think... I think it broke her. No. Also, this is Donnie's. Um, okay, um, I mean, this might sound nuts coming from me, but Donnie's doesn't look too terrible. And finally, here's Leo's. All right, let's see. Honestly, Ooh. I'm confused what the fuck was with the deal with the extra armor and the masks. Wait, wait. Merchandising, Deal. Merchandising. Deal. I'm just spitballing here, but I'm well in the bed. I know why the turtles have the armor. Why? What if the turtles were fighting each of the generals and were getting their shells kicked in? So through some mumbo jumbo, somehow they got an armors that are just as strong as each of the generals. See, the thing is, that would actually make sense if it was accurate to the movie. It's not. Yeah, like I said, spitballing. So in other words, it's uh, bullshit. Probably a concept that they realized they couldn't animate these. Put them into the movie. Pretty fucking much. Also, another thing that makes this oh, cheap, that makes this extra please. cheap. Please. Um, the, I, I can't do a British accent. I can't. Uh, um, real quick, real quick. Also, I point to me, my generals. Also, I will say this. Uh, yeah. And this uh, is something you might not even realize. You wonder how uh, cheap they were when it came to these masks? How cheap? Is, four bucks? Leo and Donnie are literally wearing the exact same mold. Wait, let me see. I'm let sorry. Me... Oh what? my fucking god, he's right. Wow, the that is cheap. Oh, what down? That the is pathetic. Ah, what? yes, Ma generals. I what seems to be the problem? Ah, yes, general. Rule Agia. Agia. Yeah, vo yeah, voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson. Who, in the very first Ratchet and Clank game, voiced Chairman Drack. Another Ratchet and Clank voice actor. What is with Ratchet and Clank and this connection to the movie? I don't get it! And also... For those He's who no stranger. Been... To voice also, acting. Also, for those who have seen the first MFK movie... Hi, girl. Oh, 
Son of a bitch, it is Monster Hunter. Also, quick, it's Cerebro. Uh oh. Yeah. Kevin's no stranger to voice acting, as we we know him as uh, Static's dad in Static Shock. Oh yeah, Ooh. Kevin Michael Richardson oh, is someone we're very also... familiar with. Inclu it's inclu it's inclu and the thing is, this would not be his first time. He's the last time that he would voice voice a villain in TMNT. Yep. As he would be the voice of the Shredder in 2012. And well, oh. also I'm going to pay a visit to an old friend. Also, he was. Also, he's known as the voice of Kilowog, and in the Teen Titans in series, he is well, <clears throat> the voice of Trigon. Raven Not Gavin. so much that also with Kevin Michael Richardson, he is also the voice of Bulkhead in Transformers Prime. Bulkhead, I needed that. Not to mention, he's also the he was also the voice of Panthro in the 2000 in the 2012 Thundercats show. Oh, 2011. Which I'm not gonna lie, that version of Panthro was badass. Y'all, I mean seriously, Panthro with a Japanese top knot. Fuck yes. Ah, oh, he he even voiced the 80s Shredder in the crossover in honor of the late James Avery. Oh, neat. And also, who, who, of course, your robot monkey team uh, fans. Hi, Antari. Uh oh. Yeah, Leo, Raph, pull it! <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just singing. I'm just humming to myself. Leaves from a vine. Ow! So much you know. Fuck you, KR. Wait. Why is um, GM bonk KR? Wait, wait, wait. Flutter, flutter. Uh, what Leaves is from a vine. The final song. The song that that was the final instance of Iro being voiced by Mako. Oh. Yep. All right. Yeah, I do deserve that. Yeah, I forgot. Ow. Awkward. Also, in other news, or news, mm -hmm. our news, news one of, news one of, news one of our one of our friends, uh, Maddie J. Cr hey, just recently got. We took a selfie of his of his suit for his Dreamer cosplay for, for Ottawa, uh, Comic Con. Ottawa. Ottawa, Ottawa Comic Con. Nice. I saw it. Very nice. Ooh. Not bad. I also love the fact that the box just says cereal on it. Hmm. Yeah, probably didn't want to. Probably didn't want to have any brand deals. Oh. I'll be watching this show called Power Rangers what? Dino Charge. Wait, 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 wait! Hold on. What no, did no, he no, say? No, no, no! Considering what was airing, I have to make this joke. I'll be watching this show I'm called sorry. Go Go Sentai Bokenja. Oh, a bitch. Uh, real, 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 no, real no, quick. No, 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 no. When no, no, did no, it come no. out? 2007. It, it'd be Geki Ranger. Yeah, that'd be Geki Ranger. Not oh Bokenja. my god, that's even more oh. fitting when you think yeah, about I'll it. I'll be watching this show called <laughs> Juken Sentai Geki Ranger. Also, also, okay, one thing I have to mention regarding the oh, whole thing. Uh, real, quick, real quick, real quick. I have to say this. Go, go, go. Go ahead. So, um, another carryover from the dozen three series the insults mm -hmm. that raff and leo throw at one another oh yeah hothead yeah, and splinter hothead and splinter jr were two insults that were coined by the 2003 series neat also also Guys. Oh my god, he's a, he's a soap opera fan. So, he's friends with Keeper. Wow. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry. going to watch a show called Passion. Boys! Oh, Passions. Boys! Also, Flutter, did you see what I put in the grinder? Oh, 
And he's going, Glenn, whatever you do, don't watch Operation Overdrive. Oh, yeah, also, it's that I'm bad. going to watch this show called Passions. Oh. Wait. Leo being a student to Splinter and Raph is... Oh my god, I'm getting flashbacks to Shaolin Showdown. You know, the whole thing with uh, Mala Mala Jung? How, uh, Omi, what, how Omi, Kimiko, and uh, Clay were bumped up to apprentices and uh, Raimundo wasn't? Yeah. That's what I'm getting. And of course, Raf gets so pissed off, he bounces. Meanwhile, at Winters Incorporated... Oh, god damn it. Now I'm off to watch this show called Kamen Rider Deno. Oh God! <laughs> and oh, so God. begins, a, and so begins a montage of the foot of the foot ninja Wait. basically confronting all of the other monsters that we're not gonna that we're not Wait gonna fight in this movie. Which this one is Wait clearly meant to be the Cyclops. Also, you know what I'm reminded of the mus of the muscular mus the muscle structure of this thing. It reminds me of the green monster from Space Jam. Hey, we got. Uh, oh hey, oh hey, I recognize. Face come here. Oh hey, I recognize. Oh, it does look like. Oh hey, I recognize that monster. That, that monster. Wait, that is that you? That that monster, I believe, was the last fi was the last monster that got a figure released for him. Yeah, the twelve monsters. Of the twelve monsters, they only got they only made five. Wow. In figure form. Oof. It's Amazon. Not even, not even sure what that monster is supposed to be. I think Bigfoot, I guess. No, 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 no. The, the big hairy one was Bigfoot. Ah. Okay. Is it from Black Lagoon? Mm, actually, no. Actually let's, actually, let's, actually, let's check the wiki. There probably is a list of these monsters. You know what? Let me look it up. I'm on the turtle. I'm on the. I'm on the turtlepedia. I'm on, I'm on the total PDA. Let me get them. All right. Okay. okay, we got. Okay, we got Bigfoot. Okay, wait a minute. This makes no sense. What? What is? Okay. What the frick? Okay, you know that Cyclops monster that we saw just that we saw just a little bit ago? Yeah. Apparently, that's not supposed to be a Cyclops. Well, what is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be the fucking centaur! What? That looks nothing like the centaur! And I didn't even yeah. have the right legs! Hey, wait, wait, hold on. Hell, no, no, no. um... Hey, wait, wait. I mean, hell, no. the one... The one that just got smacked by that hammer? His name... His name, apparently, in the... Apparently, his name is Lothargo, a reptilian sloth-like creature. Huh. You know, I can actually... Huh. Wait, sloth? Hey guys, look! We found one thing from Also... So, <laughs> okay, I have to ask this regarding... Okay, so, the bat-like monster that appears later, it's called a succubore. Which, uh... Yep. No, that's clearly meant to be a gargoyle! Oops. What? Come on, it, it, it was hanging out with the others! Or that's yeah. clearly a gargoyle! Okay, I, I thankfully just... one of these is one of these is actually right, and we're gonna see it later. By the way, guys, we have reason to skip the special episode. We have reason why. why? Plays for next week. Why? Wait, don't Stop tell me. Stop only. Wow. Eh. Yeah. Let me guess. Special episode of Club Show. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Honestly, I don't mind that. At least he gives us a break. And... Sub yeah. only. Does it really matter? Bigger. Wait, you guys look. It's garbage day. Okay, that one's. Huh? That one's called a. That one's Arachnor. Oh, it's a legend of spiders. Whoa. You know, what he, you know what that thing looks like? It looks like an ex a rejected exper 
Airman from Lilo and Stitch. Sons of a bitch, it does. Yeah. Given oh, who yeah. we're going to see later, that is actually apt. <laughs> Yeah, several monsters that were never shown on screen. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Okay, have any of you guys ever heard of a movie called 13 Ghosts? I'm familiar with like... 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, which is different. No, um, 13 Ghosts was about this eccentric billionaire who are hunting who was hunting 12 violent spirits and he built an entire house to work on a witch a ritual and he had a he had he was waiting for a 13th ghost namely his own son and anyway. the fact that, that this guy Ooh. is a billionaire looking for thir 13 creatures, yeah, that's what I was getting reminded of. Okay, so here's the thing. And mm -hmm. while the movie doesn't give names for all the monsters, the novelization for the movie, he does. Alright, so what were the other creatures? <clears throat> the Yeti, Yeti Vix the Fox... Lupa the Werewolf, Bix the Boar, Azuli the Puma, Weeb the Frog, uh, uh, Arcad Arcadian the Cotimundi? Hold on. Cotimundi. How's it spelled? How's it spelled? Uh, spelled like a coat. C O A T I. M U N. Arcadian the Cotimundi. Okay, but uh, I wrote it down in a grinder. Thank you. Ah, thanks. Uh, also, I have to and I have to speak of this meme that uh, llama. What? Nice. A llama. They said. Also, I meat. have to speak this. I have to speak this meme from Reggie, aka Drew, coming at her O's because it's so fucking hilarious. Huh? <laughs> Decide not to buy DX items when you ride the next year. Cut down on buying Pokemon cards. Buy all the Gotchard. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know what's funny? No, seriously, I've been bit no, seriously, I've been bitten by the Gartrod by the Gartrod bug. I really want to get those fucking cards. In the words of Bezagog, very collector. Very collector. Wait a minute. Oh. No, you know what's oh, funny? Guys, there's sorry, sorry, KR. The the reason why I was saying, oh really? Okay, Spetex the Llama. You're not clever, guys. I don't get it. Llamas have a tendency what? to spit. Mm-hmm. Oh. Also, you know what's funny? Wow. Just, wow. That they have a Yeti here, because there was a toy in the, the 2003 series, which came out in 2005, where they paired Wrath with a Yeti. Now, the funny thing about the Yeti... They repurposed it from another franchise. They did? Oh. What? Blizzard from Primal Rage. What? Uh-oh. Wait. Oh my god! That is him! That is Blizzard from Primal Rage! Since you said Yeti, I had, I had to post it. Oh my god! That is him! I can't unsee it! Holy shit! Wow. Good. He's not. Also, this he, no, 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 no. He's not even joking about that. Out that. I know. At, at look, 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 look. No. Huh? Eh, I'll be damned. I'm wow. surprised they even had the same had the mold for this thing. Son of a bitch. Well, that is because Primal Rage's toys were done by Playmates. Ah. Oh yeah, I just saw I just saw this tweet from uh, Kaito Dan. Shame we didn't get more out of Blaze Brew cr cr cross tag battle after this, because, but it's still wild that Neo, a character Monty added the volume to at the last possible chance, became became so popular she got added into a video game, was big enough to be a was big enough to be a trailer stinger, 
and Casey was her voice actor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Also, BL? That's not the only one. Wait, there was another Primal Rage figure they included? Oh, oh my god. god. The T-Rex. That's... Motherfucking T-Rex. T-Rex. Also, anybody anybody else near um Maine right now? No. No. Oh, I heard about this. <laughs> no, 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 guys. Main guys. residents baffled by mysterious magenta vapor filling the sky. And, of course, Easy Rider with the obvious joke. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 Wait, that's not... Wait. No, that's just... That's, that's the Jasari smoke. <laughs> also, with, with April, I love the kind of woman that can kick my ass. And her starting to learn more about combat. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Uh oh. Oh. I love how she automatically oh. knows that Casey went out oh. to do something and she oh. and, and rather than basically going to stop him, she just has hope has wishes him well. Also okay, so... son of son of a bitch, the jokes fucking continue. What? Oh, no. I just found this. Alright. Plus right. art. I both love you and hate you at the same time. Alright, alright, let's see, let's see. Ah! Of course. Oh yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this oh, too. Oh, oh, guys, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <clears throat> Draw your last pathetic card, God shard. My deck, my father's my deck. My grandpa's has deck has no pathetic oh, cards, good. but it does contain okay. the unstoppable Hopper One. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. I sound like all five. God shard's gonna be filled with so many memes. I swear to God. Yes. It ain't the Wait, man, back. What are you doing here? What? You're in the wrong. You're in the wrong franchise. Wait, it could be the be Kurt or it could be his wife. You were saying? Seriously! Blue one. Seriously! Why is it called a suck you bo you bore? It's clearly wait. meant to be a gargoyle! Wait, wait. I think I know why they gave it that name. Disney. Well, not that. I think they they must have thought that since bats are more I guess, like, relative towards Succubus, so... Not really. <sighs> Oops. No, guys, that's, that's Man Bat. <laughs> right, friendly. Doubt um, it. Right. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh my god. I just realized there's a joke we can make here regarding one of the, regarding the use of that truck. Oh. No, did anybody already make the garbage day joke? I no, did. We didn't. Did we? Yes, we did. Oh, I said I already did. Since I already did. Damn yeah. it! Fuck. Beat you to it. 
I'll tell you yeah again. Right. I don't believe you. Uh oh. Oh no. Shit. Yeah, please see. Uh, run. Um... Fucking run. Oh. Oh great! Now Rap has a tracking beacon on him. No, 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 no,
Actually, no. Oh. Never mind. No. Sky, Hurricanes, Obsidian, and Conflict. So, uh, anyway. the thing is, uh, apparently online people have made a... Oh, oh no, he's the god of darkness! So, online people have made a compare comparison regarding uh, Max Winters and another character. Yeah. Oh. People said he looks like a, like the cousin of and of Mr. Incredible. Oh god. Kind of oh, sort of fucking God damn it. My, incre my Incredible's ref comparison with the turtles is not Also nope. uh, anyway. also Zako Zako Khan, is that you? Also, another thing. Another thing. And so apparently the thing oh, is... That the, has probably Poka. Apparently anyway. the thing is in... Thing is, while the toy... While, 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 uh, in the, while later in the movie he, uh, he wears gold armor, apparently in the flashback, it's meant to be silver. Hmm. Right. Interesting. Never wearing gold, gold armor. Did he steal it from Gilgamesh? Damn, no, so you're both Mesoamerican gods. Nah. Wait. Oh my god, guys. He's a... Oh, Highlander. I already made that joke. Oh, that's fair. You did. Never mind. Wait a minute. No, guys. Better idea. Better comparison. Guys, it's it's Ukyo Ace. No, 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 no he's not cool Why enough to be Ace. Fuck him for that terrible no, no, no. joke. No, 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 guys. No. He's not cool enough to be Ace. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Even, oh, if, even, even if he is voiced by Patrick Stewart, he's not. Foxy enough. No. Also. God damn it. Also, I see. So he. So. Oh, Max Winters was ruled in one of the most evil. Oh. Oh, periods. Periods and places known to time. Ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt. Central America. Does no, it? Uh, no. 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 Flutter. 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 Look at the statue. You. He's a pharaoh. Yeah. Fair. So, joke's fixed. You mo go go five is out. You mo go go five is out. He isn't meditating. Looks like he was. But you want a different. <laughs> well, you want another character that's immortal that uh, could be comparable? Who? Though he's not rich. Wow. That's Akaishi from Revice. Oh, son of a bitch. Ah! You know, Mr. Born from from the beginning of time. It's been around for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Revice. Oh, oh, the... Oh, wait, the gift worshipper? Yeah. Literally. Don't make me get my Omni Wrench out. And don't, the don't make me get my lightsaber. Uh, Flutter, that was Leo. I know. He also oh, played right, Obi Wan right, and right. Clone Wars. Obi Wan and Clone Wars. Uh, was gonna... It's it's been years since I've watched Clone Wars. So wait. I was going to oh, hear oh. what Raph was saying. Oh, sorry. Ouch. Yeah, he's fed up with the turtles. Also, ow, the edge. Yeah, Raph is definitely the poster child for that shit. Oh, Raph's an edge lord. Raph's always been an edge lord. They're gonna make it obvious. Wait, 
Oh my god, hold on, I just realized something. Yes? Too cool to work with others. Edgy as fuck. Rides a motorcycle. He's Shadow the Hedgehog. He's, not, he's Shadow. Son of a bitch. Wait, what would that make oh, Mikey? That out, the edge, that out of the edge comparison is apt. But what would that make Mikey, though? Wait, if he's Shadow, Tails. he's Sonic. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, no, uh, Tails would be Donnie. Donnie is yeah. Tails. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Wait, I don't know who'd be Sonic, then? Uh, Leo, obviously. Yeah. I mean, he's blue, oh, too. Who's Knuckles? Oh, God. Uh, oh, I'm done. Who's Knuckles? Guys, I don't know guys who's you're, gonna Knuckles. you're gonna You're gonna kill me for this. Rap is Knuckles and Shadow combined. Son of a bitch. He is, rougher, sorry, he is rougher than the best of them. Of them. The rest of them. Also, you guys are going to kill me for the compare for playing. Unlike Leo, he doesn't chuckle. No, no, no. You can call me Rap. Unlike the others, I don't laugh. Also? Yeah. Also? I know what Mikey is. He's Vector the Crocodile. Find the computer room! <laughs> you guys are talking over. You guys are talking over the villains and their monologuing. Sorry. Back it up. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, wait. The a idea. Lot. Oh, wait. Wait. Aguila could end up betraying you. You guys smell that? I smell trunk coat. Also, uh. I smell treachery. Also, General Gato is voiced by Fred Tattashore. Ah! There's Raph. Yeah, pause for a minute. Okay, wait. April, are you trying to cosplay as Gwen Tennyson from, from Denton Alien Force? You know, oh. I was gonna say, I was wondering yeah. if someone was gonna pick up on that. Yeah, holy shit, she holy does look like Gwen from Gwen from Alien Force. The only thing that's the only thing that's missing is the skirt and the le the, the only thing that's missing is the skirt and leggings. No, 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 no. They're, they're, you're Otherwise, forgetting... it's literally the same outfit. Yeah. Well, well, okay, yeah, but yeah, but she's only but she's also like one longer hairdo away from away from looking yeah. like a Gwen Tennyson and look like too. Denton mixing with CMT. Yes, please. Motivation, give a motivational speech. Ah, uh, and here comes the next, next monster. Yep. You want to know? You guys also want to know another thing that another thing that was um, potentially in this film that never got that never got mentioned. What? What? From the trivia, the other dimension from the th from where the thirteen monsters originated is either a reference to what? Wow. Dimension X. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. The the bit the bit in the trivia section says the other dimension that the, the where the thirteenth monsters originated is likely either a reference to or meant to be Dimension X from the nineteen eighties cartoon. Oh. Yep. Given that the plan was to include Dimension X at one point, that might have been intentional. By the way, guys. Yeah. By the way, guys. The oh. Voice for. Uh, yeah, it's Kevin Smith. Hi, Kevin Smith. I was gonna bring that up.
Oh yeah, you, <laughs> you think cops are to... gonna be able to handle this thing? Mm. Current past his core. Uh, He's current the the current voice of Devil Dinosaur. No, huh. that's ass. dude. Kick your ass. Kr, you just you just created the most perfect segue. Oh no. Yep. Oh, and he was the voice of Shin Hayata in the the Ultraman anime. Hi, thing. Jersey Devil. Yeah, wait, that's... wait, hey, it's Don, me. that's not the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil, who oh, is purple, oh, with wings, looks like a superhero. I'm that Jersey Devil. <laughs> was, uh, uh, was any, did anybody yes, else make man. a? Did anybody make a Stitch comment earlier? Uh, uh I did. El did. This guy's why. It seems more like a gremlin than a Jersey Devil. Yeah. Yeah, oh, my, my fucking finger! Okay. <laughs> wow. Look at Raph trying to fight this thing. Wow, Raph is getting his ass kicked hard. Now he's getting his shell kicked in. My guy, this is this is a oh, no, it's it's gonna... Although I'm not gonna lie, horrible. I'm sorry, this thing is just a horrible. You want to know what's funny right here? What? Oh. You know that whole thing where the music cuts out as soon as he as soon as he slams right on the ground with the freezer? Yeah. yeah. Not intentional. Really? Huh. Happy accident. Nice. They liked it so much it's like, eh, fuck it, keep it in the movie. Oh Come on, little freak shell. Oh, there you go. Uh oh, now what? Like a little Looney Tune. <laughs> Okay, here's a puzzler for you. Yes. Why is it that Casey is the only one who figures out that how that Raph is the Night Watcher, yet nobody else puts the pieces together? Um, well, yeah, that makes no um, fucking actually, actually, Even Donnie! Um, he, who's the smart one, should have figured this out. I'm well in the uh, bit. I'm well in the bit that since it's Raph's business... The others don't, you know. Fair enough. Well, not to mention, not to mention. Also, I don't think there was really any, really anything like if they did see like uh, news feeds of the of the Night Watcher. I don't think he really ever spoke. Fair yeah. enough, but Plus, still, Leo has been out of the country, so he would not know. Yeah, that too. Still, though. <sighs> At the very least, I would have figured Leo would figure it out sooner because you know, oh, you got well, an, you got you got a pissed off vigilante here, here who here who basically he goes off off at night and I and Raph sleeps in all day and laughs is Raph's fucking pissed off. You figured he would at least at least confront him. Hell, they hinted at this is earlier in the movie. He think about it. One of the one of the pieces of dialogue that he mentioned was 
What if you do at night? Yeah. It almost right, feels yeah. like originally the plan do? was for was for him to figure it out sooner, but they had to drag out the movie. Eh, I'm Probably. Gonna let it, just let it go. Ah, shit. Oh, this is a classic. Ah, rainy this fight. classic fight scene. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's rainy. Now you know it, dearest. Oh boy. Jesus, I'm I'm sorry, I'm imagining this thing Deadpool versus Ratchet. Okay, hold on. You know, I just realized something. There's a big question one must ask here. Hmm. Yeah. Who made Raph suit? Yeah, they never explained that. Like, probably I, made it himself. Yeah. I mean, maybe, but... Look, Raph... It just... Look, Raph is, like, isn't stupid, And then stupid, again, Leo's he's... been gone for, like, four years. Yeah, Probably so... took him a while. Maybe... I don't know, it's just a little bit just, weird. Let's just get back to the movie. Fair enough. Sure you can! Sure you can! You all saying at the same time, gentlemen? Ironically, Ninja Turtles is crossing over with Street Fighter right now in the comics. Oh, wait, really? Oh. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes, wow. really. Wow, our joke was apt. Also, yeah, and you, and you want to know what's funny? In one of the right. recent issues, they made they actually made a joke. Really? Yeah, um... it's like Mikey said. Mikey said in the Mikey said in the issue, we gotta save Chun Li. We gotta save Chun Li and Raph, Mikey. We gotta save Chun Li and Raph. <laughs> can you tell Mikey at the hots for Chun Li? I mean, can you see? Have you seen those thunder thighs? Also, uh, okay. So I decided out of sheer curiosity to see what uh, the figure for April looks like from the movie, and uh, um, oh dear. It? All right. What's the all damage? Right. Let's see. Let's. Oh, yeah. Get. <laughs> ZM, dig out your tools, sir. You got yourself an art project to, to, to do. Um, problem. What? This thing's a fucking statue. No knees, no, no elbows. Nothing. Oh my god, Ooh. it can only move its arms. This thing is a oh, no. <laughs> And it's head. Oh no, guys. And it's hip. And it's hip. That's it. Also, oh no, guys. Abel can turn into a, a Barbie doll. Also, also, yeah, also, yeah, DL, that cover that Kara posted, legit. Huh. Wow. Holy shit. I need to, I should probably look, I need to, I need to look into this. Okay. Good night, dark prince. 
Yes, it dark wow. now. Huh. Now he gets it. Why am I? Well, consider, considering he's in the jungle. Well, considering he's in the jungle for four years, so. And you know, regarding the regarding Leo and Raph's argument here, this it, unless unless you had unless um if this was in like the uh, film continuity or the 2003 continuity, this argument might have been building up for a while. Yeah. And it only got and it only got exacerbated with Leo leaving. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's an image. Oh. Leo, being Leo, you Boom. just signed your yeah. own Yes, it is. Also, also, <clears throat> so the thing that I like about this interpretation of the conversation here, neither of them is really in the right per se. Yeah, both of them are both also... in the wrong. Can I? I mean, with, okay. With Leo, you know, expecting everyone to, you know, fall in line, he's being kind of a perfectionist. Well, it's, well it's, given a lot of given a lot of different interpretations of the team, Leo is a perfectionist, no matter well, how you slice it. Well, as Raph, he's more the rebel who goes against everything that Leo, in it by extension, Splinter you know, instilled into their heads. Yeah, and here's the other thing, here's the other thing, guys, and this actually pertains to all the different interpretations of the Ninja Turtles. If Raph only got his temper under control, he could very well lead the team. I mean, even even in the movie, e even in the live-action movies, Shredder said, Shredder basically said, like, Mikey, and Donnie... I'm deleting that. Oh come what on! What happened? What? It's an AI image. But the good where, one. Where? Where was it? Artist 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 Yeah, in. artist AI Slumber. art tends to steal from other artists. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I'll stay off like I was saying. Like I was saying. Like I was saying. Um, like Shredder said. Shredder said in the first live action movie, Mikey, Donnie, and Raf could have overpowered. Could have overpowered him, even if even if one of the turtles was gone. Meaning, in all intents and purposes, Raph could very well could very well be like either a second in command or an in command leader of the turtles. Again, he has to just get the fucking hot temper under control. You do have a point there, which yeah. Makes that, which makes it, which makes that one joke in the movie all apt. You want to know what that joke is? What? One of April's notes about the turtles. Does the red one need therapy? Does the red one need therapy, yeah. Holy shit, you're right. By the way, there's two lines from Leo and Raph that, that are coming up. I want to read them. Uh, all right, I'll, all right. I do admit, I do like the fact that we see both of them blowing up, because usually it's just Raph who... Raph who basically, you know, blows up and goes out of line, but... I um, mean, here both, both are of them to blows. Both of them are equally losing their tempers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially with these next two lines coming up. Also, uh, can I have permission to steal that for had and use that as an emoji? I oh, think that's good. the reason why he posted it. Yeah, that's why. Sure. Also, get ready for Mousy's streams to get even more chaotic. Remember, remember the whole dynamic. With hit with her and Connor. Yeah. She made a booby tip top text to speech 
boy. Son of a bitch. And anyway. done. Anyway. Uh, there's no L in his name, the L. Well, Raphael, then... yes, there is. Not, not in his, not in his nickname, which is what DL was using. Yeah. Don't do this, Raph. R A P H. I'm done taking not orders. R A L P H. And thus, the brothers come the blows. As expected. Which the thing is, this is probably one of the best fight scenes in the whole movie. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Oh, fuck yeah! And probably the best animated of this entire film. Yeah, Michael Bay only wishes he could animate like this! Yeah, I said it! Okay, real quick, I want to point this out for out for people who basically make the argument that, oh, Raph, Raph is the better turtle. He could beat Leo. No, 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 no. Here, uh, it, actually, uh, hit the sell button real quick. Uh, oh, good for you, you're oh, wrong. Good for you, you're wrong. Thank you. Thank you, Sal. Here's the thing. The only reason yeah, that Leo the, the only reason that Leo isn't winning is because he's not out to kill. Kill. Raph is the only one who's really on the attack. Yeah, and again, if if Raph only got his strength and anger under control, he could very well be the leader of the team. Or a second in command. And wait for it. And the katanas. Just snap the katanas. Katana, but eh. Both of them. No, he snapped both. Uh, you. Cell tracks. No. No, here's the. No, I'm not. No. In Japanese, you don't use. You, you, you use the same word. Wait. Wait. You, the, He's uh, using two katanas. It's plural. Again. Apparently there's no plural. Yeah, there's no plural. Then does why it, do people does, call... Does it matter, Flutter? Yeah, does it really matter? Not really. Oh, Rap snapped him like twigs! Yeah. See? Sure. Leo would have been been more f fighting if he didn't know it was him. It was Rap. Oh, yeah, he's, he's holding back. Also, another thing I really appreciate regarding the movie. Another but... thing I also just noticed here. Mm -hmm. As Raph was catching his breath after that attack, you can slowly see in the animation on his face. He's shaking. Yeah. He's realizing what he just did was one of the biggest mistakes he ever made in his life. And also another thing. Or thing. Her thing and one thing I always appreciate this movie for is the facial expressions they always gave the turtles both really did well to convey the subtle little emotions of them. Like again, this bit right here with Wrath, perfect example of that. Oh yeah. yeah. And like that, he runs away. And he's ho and he's holding back tears. Yeah, if it wasn't raining, he would be crying right now. And it just got worse. Trent and unarmed. Anybody else getting? 
Anybody else getting reminded of when of when Leo tried to fight the of when Leo tried to fight the fight in the uh, 2012 series and got his fucking ass kicked? You mean 2003 as well? Yeah. Yeah, that too. It, it also parallels the first movie where Raph had to fight, lost against the Foot Clan on his own. Yeah. yeah. And you can see, and you can see, they also caught the Jersey Devil off screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, don't you mean Jumbo? Yeah, do that a lot. I was like, wait, Jersey Devil? Don't you mean Jumbo's uh, final experiment? Lowest point. Point. And Raph realizes his mistake. A bit too late. Wait, come back! I'm not telling you! Wait, hold on. No. Actually, let me see if the bot's working, because if there is, there's a perfect joke we can use here. I think I know what it is. I know, too, because he basically, he basically gave out the same fucking energy. Hold on. If not, I can do it myself if you if you rewind it back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, come on. Please, for the love of God, please work. God damn it! I got it. But, but first... <laughs> do you have right now? That'll work. Anyway, uh, ZM, go ahead. And play. Damn! How's that? Not bad. I give it an 8 out of 10. Thank you. I'm giving it a full 10. And. Oh boy. And he has Raph to tell Splinter down. the bad news. Wow. It, it this shows something he loves that, all of his sons equally and it also wow. shows that Raph suffers from something that never really, t really touched on in the 2003 series Wait a minute. imposter syndrome no 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 Whoa. that's not it at no. all i think i know he suffers from an, he suffers from an inferiority complex mhm mm he fears that Splinter... coupled with his temper yeah that's apt He's, to him he thinks that Splinter favors Leo above all three. The other three. Nope. Nope. Which hauntingly hits home with me. And from so, what I, yeah. from from what I know regarding siblings and such, there's always been a case where one feels inferior to the other. And one such example and back way back when my sister and I were younger, we didn't know what was wrong with me, like mental wise. And my mom was in a really dark place. 
that every time that that Kelsey, my, my younger sister, would would do something, you know, bad or anything like that, she would she would turn to she would turn to her and say, "Why can't you be more like me?" And since then, it's been haunting my sister's life. Damn. Yeah. Like I said, this it's this hits home with me. Also, I also yes. I have a joke regarding Splinter. Mm -hmm. This is what they call me the Dragon of New York. Flutter. And another thing regarding another thing regarding the movie in terms of the trivia. Mm -hmm. According to Kevin Monroe, he stated that the turtles, at least in the eighteen to nineteen year old range. Huh. So, also, so, so that so that technically mean would by this would mean that by this point, they're almost full adults. No, they aren't almost. Yep. They are full no. adults. Well, fair. Usually but... that happens when you hit when you hit your twenties. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Also, but by the legal said, sense, they are. <clears throat> also, Flo, when you said Dragon of New York, oh, I didn't know he, he trained Jake Long. God damn it. Hey, your fault, dude. Your fault. You left it wide I open know. there, Flutter. Because you I said back in New know. York, so I told you. I that. know. <laughs> I made the funny. Uh oh. Splinter says, "Time to get off of but time to get off of our shit and get our and get our son back." You just messed with Leonardo. Shouldn't have done that. It was thin, but the Stone Warriors knew. They fucked they up. Fucked up. Again. When I say there's something called the Krang. Also, I have a joke to make regarding uh, when Splinter uh, gets into the action. You all appreciate it. Okay. No, Clank. No, I don't want to use the rhino on you. Oh, oh. Casey and April suit up? Wait, isn't this... I think uh, Casey's other... other oh! Fat... April got Casey oh. a metal one! Guys, nice. I think I guess in case he saw saw April in that little number, I think his other bat got rolled God up. damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I went there, phrasing. <laughs> anyway, it's all metal mask. Like it? Wait, wait, wait. And this would be brought into the show, to the series, in. Back to the sewers. Uh, Ooh. wait, are you sure? I, I don't think it was, I don't think it was hold metal. On, hold on. Oh. Well, I mean, the, the, the ninja outfit. Oh. I mean. oh! The ninja outfit, yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, one must ask, why wasn't the metal? <coughs> Mask included. I mean, it's a perfect upgrade to the, right to the. To the ceramic one. I. Or the plastic one. No, it's ceramic. Yeah. It no, is. normally, normally with hockey masks, they're plastic. Yeah, that's true. Fair. Also, what's a hockey mask? Yeah, I, I snug. 
a snuck Jason X reference. Ah. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, but, oh, it's not that bad. Oh, oh, but he's back. It's the man behind the mask, and he's out of yeah, control. Listen. He's back. Yeah. Okay, that's a better Friday Thirteenth reference. Thank Butter. you. Come on. Uh, Let me ask me. Sentai, do you know how troubled that movie was production-wise? Flutter, I just got two words for you. Guilty pleasure. Fair enough. I'm not anyway. judging. Also, wait, are we sure there's a foot ninja in that shadow con? Yeah. Where <sighs> they are, the shadow con with that design. <laughs> <laughs> all the look missing, at them! All the look them! The all the Best Brother Hell's son of a Best Brother Hell's animated Jackie Chan. <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> wait, 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 hold, hold, hold wait, on, guys! I just wait. realized something. Yeah. The big bear general. He yeah. looks like Toru. Son of a bitch! Oh my god! Son of a son bitch! Of a bitch. I hate fish. I and oh my gosh, they're. They aren't 13 monsters. These are Shendu siblings! Wait, wait, Shendu siblings? Okay, YGM well, in. Season... Seasons of Jackie Chan Adventures. Yeah. Wait, After... 13 monsters. Clark, hold on. I'm going to explain. Basically, YGM, after the events of. Uh, I think season one. Yeah, season one. Yeah, season one. Shendu was sent to the to the Nether Realm, where you see his different siblings, all having the different elements of, all sharing different elements. Well, and, the zodiac. Well, no, 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 Flutter elements. Because remember, we, um, each of them represents the different elements, like the natural elements. They can still be connected to the Zodiac because the Zodiac also involves elements. Fair, fair. But anyway, and they send Shendu back to Earth to basically release each of them. However, his original target was Jackie. He, had, he, in, he ended up he getting went back in the Belmont, Belmont instead. By accident. And unfortunately, also, I have a unfortunately joke. one of Belmont's voice actors passed away recently. So, yeah. Also, I have a joke regarding our Jackie Chan comparison. Yeah. 13 monsters. Yeah. Tatas, you must do more this. Mother of God. <laughs> oh, seriously, wait. 13 monsters, 12 talismans? Come yeah. on. Wait a minute. Oh, God, guys. Another bit of, of oh, shit. Who's the voice of Splinter in Mutant Mayhem? I mean, Jackie, Chan. The, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. I know it's not the actual act of voicing the anime of Jackie, but still. I would not be surprised if they get him to voice Splinter in the, in the anime. Oh my series. god! Oh my god. Because, funny enough, wow. he would voice Monkey in the Kung Fu Panda series. Cartoon. So nice. they can do it. Oh, also, dear God, Casey, hey, running in a final battle. Also, hey, uh, Max, you need to work on your Gilgamesh cosplay. Huh, holy shit, he does look like Gilgamesh. Uh, you impotent mongrels think I would be caught dead wearing that kind of armor? <laughs> oh, God. It should be done. Fucking hell. IGM, fuck him. Uh, <laughs> I love a talk to the idol. And as usual, <laughs> you can't read the lines. Now you're thinking with portals. No, no, no. Now you're playing with portals. No. It's playing, not thinking. I still playing. I used to thinking. No. I, I heard thinking. Oh, yes. Yeah, I did. I was like, wait. I know he's trying to summon. He's trying to summon some gold monsters. No. 
I don't know. Don't, don't I run into Bonkyo again? I'm a fucking Highlander. Oh. Ah, curse is starting, but I never. Time for oh. ass kicking. Go ninja, go ninja, go. You know, I'll be straight here. I'm legitimately disappointed that Chris never got to say Gungal at any yeah. point. I mean, seriously. He should have. He does. He does say another. He does say an iconic Casey line like, in a bit. Also with. with also, uh, cat fight. Oh. April, make the proud, make the bride proud of you, girl. Seriously, her outfit looks like the bride's. Also regarding. The Oh wait, 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 DL, pause. What? I have a joke. Go ahead. You're all going to love this. Go ahead. Remember mm -hmm. how I made the Dragon of New York joke earlier? Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Seriously again! That's Mako! All right, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God! One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the ninety-five records. Nah. <laughs> Two minutes for high, for high sticking. Nice. That is also iconic from Casey Jones, though. So. Worth it! Wasn't it from, uh... Okay, okay. First movie. Uh, okay. Uh-oh. I need a plan. I got it. Oh. Casey, please tell me that wasn't <laughs> you. Hey! Chekhov's gun! Hmm. Set up and pay off. That's wait, wait, did, okay, I haven't been blinking you missed it, but, did she pet him on the butt? Uh, thing was on the Rewind a bit. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah she did. Yeah, she did. Wait, you showed Casey in April? Do you not? Do you yes. fucking Do you not? not? Oh, no, we have to ask, we have to ask go three series. No! Ah, no, that's not it! That's... There he is. There's Ratchet. Huh, ah, I can tell the charm. There's Guy. No, 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 Flutter. No, 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 no. Sentai. You're not getting it. No, 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 no. Flutter. Three. Flutter. He, Flutter. Guy was voiced no, by no. 2003 VA. No. Yeah. That's, the, that's what I was referencing. But his, ah. v, but his VA in this what is is I know, I know, I know, I know. It doesn't work. It does. It did not work. It did not work. Oh. Anyone get the number of that bus that New hit me? Katana. Also, anyone get the number of that quirk that hit me? I mean, count the quirk, not the powers from MH MHA. Raff and Leo said something very important. <laughs> Back it up a bit. Ah! Anyway, back it up. Yeah, I'll back it up so we can hear what Leon Raff said. A little more. There we go. A little bit more. Uh. 
Okay. There it goes. And they both apologized and hello, Rick. And they reconciled their differences. Oh, no. Wow. Look more like fall. Oh. Mikey, got it in a place. We're all gonna die, dudes. Shut up, Mikey. Of course. Of course. Decapitate I, guys, no. decapitate him. Also, also, I just also oh, I had to slutter. Change. Keep in mind, the guy's immortal. I don't think cutting his head off would work. Uh, yes. No, 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 you're missing the joke. Highlander, Highlander. I know it's a Highlander joke. I'm just saying that. I'm oh. just saying that in this fucking. I'm just saying that in this case, cutting this guy's head off probably won't do a thing. Oh, also, I also, I. Oh, I have a joke here. Yeah, I had this strange dream. I was this. I was, I was up leading a, a school of mutants. I, I had this strange dream that I was leading this crew crew on some sort of spaceship called the Enterprise. Enterprise. <laughs> also, I had this strange dream. I was leading a school of mutants. Oh, oh, <laughs> guys, I got better one. Okay. <clears throat> I had the strangest dream that I was King Richard in a parody of Robin Hood. Yes! I'm not kidding. Guys. Wait, he was King Richard in Men of Tights? Yeah. Yes. Also, I had this strange dream that I was a, a member of a group called the Illuminati. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, time out. What? Multiverse of Madness. Still need to watch it. Also, also, I had this strange dream that I was a strange sort of character in some god awful movie made about technology. Uh, uh the emoji movie. It was the shit. Emoji. Oh yeah, that piece of shit. Oh. In this case, he was number two. <laughs> also, I had this strange dream that I was narrating a Castlevania game. Oh god. I had a, Words I had of a, shadow for anyone who doesn't know. I had a, oh wow! I had, I had another dream where I was uh, the sheep, and another where I was, or where I was, oh, a, or where I was, where I was a strange, strange egg alien, and then another where I was a, was a, was a living book. Okay. Anyway. And, and uh, Chicken Little, third one. You. Yep. The page master. The page master. Why, yeah. Why he was a venture. It shows it's been a long time since I've watched that. I'm up. I love that line. I had pretty odd. I think that was the original plan. And yeah. Much. Unlike various other immortal characters, he want, is willing to die. Wow. He views his immortality as first. Uh oh. And in turn, he wants to die Pe before death. Wait, Family Feud? Okay, where's Steve Harvey? What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the family. All the way, the voice for a uh, snake lady. Paula, um, Matti, Mattioli. Mattioli. Thank you. She sadly hasn't done um, much. Uh, so let. Hold on. We are trying oh. to find the shine of the silver the monkey. monkey. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh. 
All right, let's see. Huh? Well, I don't well, know, right? Oh, well, at least the end of Sam where, at least the end of Sam where the paycheck's coming from. My enemy is my enemy is my friend? Yeah. For now, anyway. Rival team up. Motherfucker. Wait. Wait. Rival team up. But Flutter, we're not watching a Super Sentai movie. No. Also, DL, I just realized something. What? Yeah. We literally just dealt with it two days ago. Holy shit, you're right. Refresh my memory. Son of a bitch. Tango Shredder. Shredder. Son of a bitch, you're right. Wow. Also, also, for some strange reason, Karai is accompanied by one foot ninja throughout the rest of the movie. I dub the... Steve. Steve. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, both thought, we, we both thought the same thing. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> Jesus. Also, what you gonna do, brother? No. Hey, Flutter, just be glad I didn't go with the obvious joke. Still punt Hogan. Also another also another thing, thing that really bothers me regarding the toy here. Okay, so the toy yeah. for Regila Le clear uh, has two swords and yet yeah. the and yet in the movie he clearly wields he a Naginata. Yeah, he's wielding a Nagi knot. Uh, that makes no fucking sense. It's tur It's turtle time. So no. Turtles forever. God, God damn, damn it. it. And we're gonna be looking at that. Wait, hold on. Oh, Wait, wait, proper wait, Japanese. Yeah, don't hear, interfere. Oh, what? Back it up. Play it. Wait for it. Shh. Which, means, wait, which, which means, wait a minute. Chotomate. Which actually fits because Mako's Japanese. Makes sense if you'd actually say it. One. Hey. It's something that always bu bugged me regarding the whole thing with Winter Winters. In most art, in most artwork that's used for him, they always show him without the helmet on. When he looks way cooler with the full armor on. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. You should have put the helmet back on since it's the final battle. He's the one yeah. that's that's sending the rest of the the oh. rest of the beasts back to went back from whence they came. Also, when you guys said put the helmet back on, I'm trying to keep myself from making a turbo movie reference. Back to action's been used. Back to action's been used for like Mighty, from Mighty Morphin to at least Lost no, Galaxy, no. dude. No, ZM. I know what you're getting at. Yeah. I'm just saying the phrase. I'm just saying the phrase "back to action" has been used from Mighty Morphin until at least Lost Galaxy. Wait. Yeah. Oh my God! I didn't even realize that it is until now. What? Yeah. Okay. I just realized how che another reason another show of how cheap playmates were back in the day when it came to this toy line. Mm. Oh boy. Okay. The two so the the two swords that were included with looted with here with a gila. Eh. Yeah. They're the same mold as the mold of the sword for winters. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Oh. oh. And, 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 and and for a refresher, to show that I'm not uh, crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> Look. Motherfucker, they are. They're just in a darker... They're just in a dark gray. Again. Oh. Also, Erod, thank you. What? What did Erod do? What'd he do? This has been up for nine hours. 
Okay, no one's done the obvious Photoshop job. Huh? What do you mean Photoshop job? Alright, let's let's see. Let's see. And Oh my god. Wow! Missed opportunity! Someone will do it eventually, don't worry. Also? Yeah, anyway. Back to the ass kicking. Yeah, yeah, Back yeah. To the and, wild battle. Yeah, and the thing is, you wonder what gave it away to me that they were the same mold? What? Wow. The hilt. The little hook on the bottom? Yes, exactly! Oh, the hilts. Yeah, the pommels. Oh. Okay, here's something I don't understand here. Why is it that Leo's fighting, fighting Gato? Oh, and uh, not Aguila. They're both dual wielding katana. Yeah, but Aguila's the leader. Wouldn't it make more sense for him to, him to fight yeah, the leader? Yeah, good point. Yeah, good point. Good point. Anyway, right. back to the ass kicking. I think that's the other issue people had with them. The villains don't really have any personality. They're just oh god, big, yeah. Wild, big, wait, mindless you know what oh, it reminds me of? It reminds me of the hells from Rise of the Beasts. Also, yeah. Also, I just also, hey guys, check it out. Leo's going all ba gate, of, gate of Babylon on his ass. Oh, son of a bitch. Leo's going full Benkei. No, 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 no. Wait, oh, I'll, 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 no, wait, wait, hold on. Better thing. Is a limited blade works. Yo, oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, works. God damn it! I am the. I am uh, the bone of my soul. Yeah. Oh my part of a team ass. Oh come on! Is that literally? Or Wait, hold on. Is that literally the only reason they pair paired his paired him up against Aguila? Yep. Apparently. Uh, Ugh, uh, weak. No, no, no. Heal. Weak. Thank you. Yeah, oh, that mo that bone's getting a workout tonight. Super kick! Do this more often. Thank you, Slither. Wait, this was Slither said was something. Roll it back. Oh yeah, we missed the line. Yeah, you're right. We all rewind. I still got him. <laughs> by the by, real quick, I want to mention this. Go ahead. And this, okay. So you would think that, given the, given that you know, Aaliyah with like multiple swords would be a perfect opportunity to release a version of him. Nope. No. Never did. Uh, they never did. I they mean, never released a version of Leo that included all those cool swords. Wow. Wow. When it was practically gift missed wrapped it to them. Missed opportunity. It was practically yeah, it was practically yeah. gift wrapped. <laughs> oh, 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 but, oh, but they included the uh, the hand glider or such uh, and made the jungle variant of Leo. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, that bone's getting a workout tonight. Thank you. Yes, it is. One more for the road. Anyway. Speaking of the road. On the road again. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see, what, let's see what the monster is. <laughs> I concur. All right. Oh what my god! Heck? It's the gargoyle. Wait, that's supposed to be the gargoyle? No, it's not. Oh wait, it's the it's the fucking uh wolf. Yes. No, oh. actually it's not. Oh. 
I can actually identify which monster that is. Okay. You'll never believe me, though, when I tell you what it is. Oh, no. Oh, frick. All right. You know what? Why don't you try and guess? What do you think this monster's supposed to be? Uh... Uh... I... Hold hey. on. Hold on. Let me bring up a picture. Hang on. I got it. Thank you. I'll let you handle it. Because I found the name. Okay, try and guess. What do you think he's supposed to be? Uh, it's... Wild Nuts, that you? No. That's a nope. dragon, isn't it? No! Do you know what it is? Hey, Ar, go ahead. You have the name. It's, it's called Kritako the Crocodile. Like what? oversized crocodilians. Also, find the computer room. And on the wiki, it and on the wiki, it's described as a giant creature from the ocean. He eats fish and strongly resembles a dinosaur. Wait, wait, wait! Open wait. the door. Get on the floor. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pa uh, deal. Pause for a minute. Zam, what was the description also, of this thing? Yeah. What was the description of this thing? So a go giant ahead. creature from the ocean. It eats fish and strongly resembles a dinosaur. That's a lot. That's a lot of fish. God damn it! Son of a bitch. That's it, what I was. Uh, oh, you almost clever, had it, guys. No, no, no. I was gonna say this. You're not clever, guys. Anyway, oh. moving on. Also, here's something that I have to point out, and it honestly is a little bit of a plot hole. Okay, so, it's clear that they show that Winters is trying to help Splinter, but we only see Splinter doing the fucking fighting! Yeah. Yeah, that is weird. That is stupid. Working on it. Horse him back, boys! Right on, yeah. And one of them was a writer punch. Did it work? No, no, never that easy. You say that. You're, are you sure about well, that? Well, you say that. Out of the way! Voiced by their own petard! Wow. Oh, boy. Down you go. And with that, the curse is lifted. The curse is... The curse is fucking re rise again. No. No, they won't. Well, I was. Also, I guess you'd say that they tested their might. God, God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I can't be mad. No, me neither. Actually, Seriously, I got Solato, look. Also, yeah. also, yeah, I got, also, Solato. also, I got a joke here. Good. You want to know why these guys were so bad? Why? They were Dumb stone rocks. cold. Yeah, we were on <laughs> the same wavelength there. Yes. yes. 
Oh, well, it looks like Mikey's out of a job for a while. Mikey is a fuck. At least he's with his family again. Yeah, but still, though. My. Hey! No. It doesn't mean Ninja finished. Ah, damn it. That's a signature. It's a signature, Mikey. Uh, no, 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 that no was, Casey. That was that was, that was Casey. Casey. Ah. Signature signature move, Casey. He can die now. He's been living for millennia. Yeah. You're just gonna kill me for this joke. Oh, Blur, hold on. I'm waiting for the punchline. Turtles, no. I don't feel so good. No, no, God I got a bear. I, 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 got, I got a bear joke. For it, it's okay, Mass guys. Mass Winters, prepare to die. No, 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 I got a bear one. It's okay, guys. All we have to do is just. Make a blood sigil, and we come back as a servant. Son of a, son of a bitch, bitch, he's right. <laughs> and he, and, and Max Winters fades the and, and Max Winters fades away, leaving, well, leaving behind only the fresh fingers of pine. Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but does this stuff look like pixie dust? A little bit. All they have to do is leave. Now, DL, like I said, let the credits roll. Of course. Of course. Considering what we have at the end. Oh, oh. here it is. Here we, here we go. Now we here get we to go. see the full trophy. He capped Okay. It. Full the memorial. Is the, the canister? The TCRI canister, Shredder's helmet. Uh, not sure. Lord right. Yorimoto, Lord Yorimoto's Kabuto. Ah, okay. Norinaga, Lord Lord Norinaga's Kabuto, and oh, and the little farmer. I'm trying to remember the name. La Rat traps. Oh, mousers. 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 Shit, you're right. Those are mousers. I didn't even realize that before. Yeah, and on the, the very far. Had, and on the, the case, we and have the you see the rover. You see the robe right there? Uh, that's Splinter. That's Splinter's robe from the first three movies, and right next to that is Walker's hat from the third movie. Wow. And of course, is the armor from third movie? Yeah, Norinaga's armor. I think it's one of the skiers. And oh, with that, Rash, that uh, as the Night Watcher. I mean... Dang it, Mikey! No, no, no. 
I, I, I'm gonna give a full reason why he wanted to do that. By the way, Raph monologues. Raph narrates for the for the for the remain, for the remainder of the movie. Last line from the last line from the first comic. Oh. And of course. Oh, I love being a turtle. God, I love being a turtle. Also, I said it once, and I'll say it again. I was just like, man, I love being a turtle. Oh. Ah, keep the keep the credits going. You want to know what's actually funny? The line "I love being a turtle" and it has mm -hmm. been said in the live action series and in the live action movies and the two thousand three series up until season four. What That's when they five? stopped using it. What season five? I don't know what season five is. Anyway, and I will I will say this: the mu the ending music for it is not been. Not Damn it, Taylor. Yeah, I can't Gosh. be mad at that. Also, I found something even funnier. Huh? What? What is turtle power? That's <laughs> virtual. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't see Oh, God. Me. Virtual versus Leo. Oh, death battle. Make that happen. Vir Virgil would win. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be one-sided. Yeah. Too bad you couldn't win against uh, Severoff. Oof. No one I could see a rematch, considering he got more, kind of a slight yeah, upgrade in five, fair. and the remake cap for seven came out. Fair. Although speaking of death battle, this one's gonna be a. Hard one to call for me. Mm-hmm. Because I never watched Desert, nor have I ever played Fire Emblem, so... Five. Okay. It was season five. Alright, and where is it? Hold on. It's gonna be oh, right around here. In memoriam, Mako Iwamatsu and German Chung. Oh, who's German Chung? I got it. I got it. Okay, there we go. One of the mo one of the character riggers. Oh. Yeah, oh. uh. we both we both said at the same time. Well, anyway. <clears throat> so Ooh. that so that was was the TMT two thousand seven movie. Honestly, it still so holds up. Yeah, oh, yeah, it still holds fun. up. Oh yeah. I mean, the voice cast was phenomenal. The Fantastic, even. The, the animation still holds up to this day. It looks really yeah, good. Yeah, Imagi honestly. Studios, I kind of wish they stuck around to do, to do more movies up to this day. Sadly, but, they had to declare bankruptcy after the box office bomb of Astro Boy. Yeah. I also don't know how distinct the style is. Because there wasn't anything like this. There time. really wasn't. And, no. and, and, oh, another, yeah. and another thing that I appreciate regarding uh, the regarding, uh, this particular version of the Turtles is it does something that it, it carries None on. None the other continuities do. Well, no, 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 no. I, you, you did let me finish. Go ahead. The thing about the, out this out this version of the version of the turtles, it did something that honestly we would help inspire higher later incarnations. They gave the turtles distinct designs. Yeah. 
Because the thing is, yeah, you can later it, on. The thing is, yeah, you can definitely tell that with the designs of the turtles, especially in later seasons, they all try to make them at least different shades of green, so that way they all don't, don't look alike as I from the bandanas. Yeah, yeah. like in the eighty, like in the eighties uh, cartoon. Exactly. Yep. Lee. 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 And the exp and the way that these models carry on the expression and is honestly very impressive. And this movie is. I mean, is he is what? How old? Uh, Sixteen years old. Sixteen yeah. years old, and it still and looks still... good to this day. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Again, the su the absolute subtlety of the animation where where Raph beats beats Leo down by snapping his swords like twigs, and then and then slight nearly piercing his head. With a sigh, made him realize, "Oh, fuck! What am I doing?" Also, it was then that Raph knew he, he fucked, up. fucked up. Also, another thing that's really good regarding the regarding the turtles is something you don't really notice unless you're paying attention, mm -hmm. and it's involving the bandanas. Yeah, the headbands. Yeah. Look at all of them. Oh. Each of them are distinct. Yeah, not only that, they uh, each of them give off a different sort of facial expression. I mean, with okay, with Mikey, it's more um, like doe eyed, wide eyed, wide eyed. Yeah. With 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 Donnie, it's more neutral expression and like he's thinking about something. Leo, well, there's this sort of intense look to him. So, to it. And finally, with Wrath, like it's more of a pissed off look. Mm hmm. I don't think, and I don't think, I don't think before this, there was any attempt to really distinguish with the headbands when it came to the turtles. Yeah. I mean, nope. there was an attempt, but it was a series that nobody really cared for. Oh, yeah. Any. Yes, but still, though, oh, the designs for. For, for most of, if not all, of the characters in this looks great. Right, they all look very distinct and unique, while still looking recognizable to the, well, to the familiar characters you all know and love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, the continuity with this movie, it's a fucking nightmare. There's no tiptoeing around it. But honestly, the thing mm -hmm. is, it's better if you just go in it without really, really thinking about wh uh, what the continuity for this movie is. Just think of this as a standalone film. Basically, it think, of it, think of it as not, like, a finale of, like, the old three series. It's... It more, isn't. I... Flutter. That's what I was getting at. I was saying that, that, you know, that don't think of it as, like, a finale of the series, but in its own, you know, its own separate, uh, continuity this movie exists in a small little bubble and the thanks and thankfully thanks to turtles forever it will be acknowledged knowledge as its own continuity mm -hmm. because as for those of you who don't know in turtles forever they show different multiverses of turtles which is their way of referencing other or ninja turtle theories and they distinctly show the live action movies and the and the 2007 movie are in two different continuities. Wait a minute. Which you know thank what? God, which thank God, total, thank God for Turtles Forever for doing it because otherwise this movie wouldn't make no fucking sense if you tried to put it into another continuity. Which honestly is for the, for the best. Yeah. I appreciate the fact this movie basically. Because tries... Honestly, I was I was just having a giant ass question mark above my head this entire movie. Oh, so you're a human Moki Moki. Moki Moki. Pretty much. <laughs> But, <clears throat> yeah, I do that so damn well. But yeah, but yeah, there, but yeah, there's a lot to like here, especially with the characterization of the turtles. The thing is, this movie is only like an hour and hour and a half long, and not even. Well, well, well I, how long is it? Uh, an hour and twenty three minutes. But what, what? An hour and twenty seven minutes. Well, close enough. It's almost yeah. an hour and a half long. Um, and it had the had the Herculean task of establishing these characters to a new audience, and, 
and establishing personalities, and also oh, ensuring there was enough room for room for everything else. Did it succeed? Yes and no. While the characterization for the turtles is fantastic, honestly, honestly I feel this is some of the best characterization they've and they've ever had. I honestly feel the best characterization is with Raph and Aph and Leo. Oh yeah. Their, their their relationship in the movie is really well done. Hun, and if hun, and especially for those who are fans of them in the 2003 series, you'll feel right at home here. Here. And here. Where the movie falls flat sadly is its villains. The villains, yeah. Like I said, they're one they're one dimensional. I mean, hell, that was the same problem we had with the Heralds of Unicron in Rise of the Beasts. Yeah, it honestly was. And was. And the thing is, the only villain who is interesting is Winters. But he isn't even a villain by the end. He's just uh, someone trying to, uh, trying to make up for his mistake. Which, I appreciate mm -hmm. that, uh, the route they went there. Here. But it really feels like we should have seen more of what or of yeah i get what they were trying to go for and i honestly feel commend them for it they were trying to show a twisted version of the brotherhood the turtles had those had if things had gone sour were for long enough clearly that was the route they were going with and hey i give them credit for that that's a clever idea mm -hmm. but oh, the yeah. problem is they didn't go all the way they didn't flesh it out enough like mm -mm. like the thing is is Aguila's sort of power-hungry attitude comes out of nowhere, where he comes up and he Please. says that Winters is betraying the, them, and he's not. He told them that he he told them from the start he wanted to make up for his mistake. He wanted to he wanted to he to lift the curse. He's always wanted to lift the curse. He's he hates being immortal. And now now the thing yeah is, because being immortal is honestly kind of fucking boring. Now. What I think would have helped is if, okay, let's say that Aguila overhears a conversation between him and Karai. Rai, one where he mentions the, and it's the whole thing regarding, regarding, you know, the whole thing, how it sucks to be immortal and such like that. Maybe they even talk about their history. Maybe Karai hints about the whole thing you know, with her past with Shredder. Her. But Aguila overhears something and Here's their conversation, and he makes it, and it, and it honestly sounds to him like Winters plans to essentially take the Max, portal. yeah. Like, like, like okay. Winters plans to take the portal for himself and create an army of monsters, and unleash an army of monsters onto the world. World, like, maybe Karai accuses them of that. Of that. At, at, and Aguila overhears this, and thus he plans to betray Winters before he can betray them. But before, he, but after he leaves, he clarifies, "No, no, no! I plan to basically correct my mistake and such like that." Hell, that would have explained why Karai suddenly sides with, still sides with Winters, first when, first when Aguila betrays him. Mm -hmm. Because Karai was, I guess, were not aware of the curse. Yeah. Oof. This needed more fleshing out, honestly. Honestly, and. Lee, not just in terms of the relationship with them, but also the, uh, with the brothers, or with with the, with the siblings in general. Well, like, they don't have much personality at all. The only one who does mm, nope. is Aguila. Was... Hell, hell, the, hell, the hell, the ape general. He doesn't have a single fucking line. No, he doesn't. Again, it's it like I like I compared it. It's the same problem we had with the Heralds of Unicron. They could have been a little more fleshed out. Yeah. And it honestly sucks because the villains are the weakest part of the movie, but the rest of it, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty damn solid. And not to mention... I will say this. Is this a must-see TMT movie? Oh, heavens no. Absolutely not. Really. But, not huh. really. It's, but... it's more of a, it's more, and more casual viewers rather than big TMT fans. Honestly, this is more of a this is more of a popcorn movie. You you put it on when you on um, when you want when you want something fun and entertaining, but you should only watch this if you're a turtle turtle fan. Casuals yeah. will mm -hmm. likely casuals while they will enjoy it, they won't really get as much investment 
Especially yeah. when it comes to all the nope. hidden references and such that they include in the movie. Mm-hmm. Movie. So, the, yeah. the, the thing is, I think I understand one of the reasons why this movie didn't really work in the end. It tried to appeal to everybody. Both casual and TMT fans at the same time, which... It's, it's, it. the, 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 the thing is, if you try appealing to everybody, you end up appealing to no one. Yep. They tried appealing to the fans of the original films and the mo the current series. Tried blending it together and it it was just all over. And it honestly is a yeah. shame because this continuity had potential. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, I legitimately believe that these characters are the turtles. And I would have no. loved to see them continue yeah, these voice bankrupt. acts. Yeah, and honestly, it does suck because I would have loved to see some of these ideas, like Mikey becoming a member of the Foot Clan, man, res resurrecting the Shredder, Triceratops, and Dimension X. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Plus, there was Again, a bad the Astro Boy movie bombed. Again, we've never, ever. Had a movie continuity involving the Terror Cons. And that's fucking no, no, Triceratons. Triceratons. We're, we're getting the, the yeah, we're getting the tracer the, the, the Triceratons, and it, and that's fucking pathetic. Here's hoping that with Mutant Mayhem's new continuity, they'll likely fix that. Possibly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Positively receive this? We we might. Hell, we hell we know the Treaders coming the in the sequel. I'm on the best. A, a sequel's already been greenlit. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm I, I'm actually positive on, if on, that oh, it has. It has. Oh, really? Cool. Excellent. But still, greenlit. Greenlit the same time that Tails was. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Honestly, bottom line, I give this uh, a solid oh, yeah, A. Straight A. Yeah. Straight, straight A. Yeah. Yeah. Like straight this. A. This movie is honestly like, not that bad. Yeah. I oh, think, no. uh, I, I, if honest, if you ask me, the main reason why people give it so much flack is because they went into it expecting something different. Yeah. Like I, hell, hell, it's one of the reasons why why the end, why the nostalgia critics review of it, it is so derided because he didn't get it. Yeah. Much, yeah, like, much like other things, nostalgia critic doesn't get these days. Hey, yeah, but. For six. I'm still mad at him for, for his quote unquote review of Five of Goals West. Yeah, but yeah, no. but the thing is, thing is, when you go into this movie, movie, do not think about any continuity whatsoever. Ever. If you do, you'll only get a headache. Yeah, because this oh, movie yes. is clearly meant to be standalone. Alone. Okay. It tries, tries oh. to. To be part of other continuities of the series, of different shows and series, but it does not work. Nope. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Exactly. Quarter bridge Iron Guard. It did not work. It did, it did not, not, not work. work. And the thing is, the one thing that was most successful regarding the movie was the toy line. And even then, the toy line wasn't very good. I will say this, I will say this. However, there is one to set to the toy line I actually will defend. And you want to know oh. what that sect is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be? The Mini Mutants. I shall call it Mini Mies. The Mini Mutants were essentially meant to be small figures that were meant to reference that were, they were essentially like downscale versions of it was weird because this thing was the Mini Mutants were and used the 2007 version of Turtle Molds, but they used downscale versions of the 2003 Molds. Oh, uh. for the villains. It was strange. Strange. The only thing that really matched when it came to both, to both, to, to having, like, the same... same Wait, is your being Great Mouse Detective? Flutter, later. Later. But we're still, yeah. we're still recording. But yeah, yeah, the minions were pretty good. The only, sadly, the only two that really made sense was that they did release a smaller version of the Shredder figure that they released in the 
2007 line in the Mini Mutants line. Those were the only two that really matched. Wow. Matched, but matched. But I honestly still have nostalgic memories towards this movie, and I still still really enjoy it. Though I won't deny it's not really, it's not the best movie, sadly. And honestly, mm-hmm. it's a shame, because if they had ironed out some of these problems, it probably would have been an even better TMT movie. E. E. Yeah. Again, this thing had a whole lot of potential. But sadly, it was squandered due to, or due to incompetence. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have a button I, I'm going to hit. I haven't hit all night. Do you have any notion of the concept? of your blunder. Thank you, Megs. Thank you, but... Yeah, I didn't hit that button throughout the whole movie. Yeah, but... Still, though, this movie has a great voice cast, some really good animation, and, oh, yeah. and a decent story. It honestly does suck the weakest part of it was, was the adversary they fought. Mm-hmm. Uh, because if that had been fixed, it probably would have been in one of the best TMT movies. Yeah. Hell, oh, yeah. Hell, hell, I can imagine that for a lot of people, this is a massive breath of fresh air after the last theatrical TMT movie was Turtles 3. What's Turtles 3? I don't know what that movie is. No, this is the only TMT movie I've seen in theaters. Same. Wow. Damn. Same. I never... I was, same. I, I, said... didn't, I didn't really see... I don't think I saw all the Michael Bay movie. Movie in theaters. It is either of them. I, I might have seen the first one, but not the second one. I've never got Legend. to see either. Good. YGM, also, YGM, you have a miss. <clears throat> Sorry. Can I? Yeah, YGM, you haven't missed much, and be thankful. Also, also, uh, oh, you know, I just realized how sad is it that is that Captain America makes a better. And her Casey Jones than Jones than Green Arrow. That is yeah. sad. <sighs> Gotta get it one last dig at Stephen Amell. Yeah. Anyway. But oh. yeah, overall, overall, we do recommend you give this movie a shot. Yeah, it's uh, it's honestly it's like pretty decent and still got some great animation and 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 it's still a killer voice cast. I mean, Honestly, in my opinion, Nolan North and James Arnold, Arnold Taylor steal the show. And yeah, they're some awesome. of the best voices for Leo and Raph we've ever had. Oh, and, yeah. and, and not only that, for for as little as Winters does, Patrick Stewart, Stewart gives it his all in this role. Damn yeah, right he does. I mean, oh, I yeah. The, uh, Mikey Kelly for, well, Mikey. He, he captured... The, the spirit of the of the party, ma- party of the character, turtle. yeah, he captured it pretty well. The thing is, I think what helped was the fact that they had that they made that they made Mikey sound like a surfer dude, which, which let's face it, is supposed to be his personality. He's supposed to be chill. Exactly. He's supposed to be be laid back. Exactly, and not only that, but the late great Mako voicing Splinter. Oh my god. Then for for his fantastic. for his final for for his final role, role this was a great one to go out for for Mako. Oh, mm-hmm. well, I'm, well, I know people would have preferred if he went out voicing Uncle Iroh. Ro, I still feel that Splinter was a great role for him to for him to go out on because uh, not only was he was he voicing such a such an important character, he's an important character part of such a beloved franchise. Eyes. And let's be fair here. Here, be here. Being part of that as your final as your final role as a voice actor, <laughs> I can't imagine any greater of an honor. Well, especially since he's the only one of the only Asian actors to have voiced Splinter. Though there have been other Asian actors, though they've not been Japanese. From what I'm looking up. Yeah, that's the weird thing. Mako's the only Japanese voice actor, voice shredder. Because remember, Amato Yoshi. Yeah, though, 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 we will give credit to other v- VAs who've du- who've voiced him, like Darren Dunstan and of course Han Lee from Lee from twenty 
Maybe from 2012. Only, yeah. Only, yeah. But still. Anyway. <clears throat> but that's going to do it for this edition. For this uh, special edition of the Token Round of Birthday Riffables. Well, I'm hoping that this, that we made your birthday just a little bit better thanks to this ZM. It it did, and especially especially with me watching uh, TMNT Mutant Mayhem earlier today, it, it really did help my mood. And I just realized I should have included one more slide. Damn. Give me a well, moment. You can listen to it. Anyway. So you had twice I mean, the turtle power. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to do my... Co I, Seriously, I don't plan this. I, I, yeah, I don't plan this, I swear. And with that being said, it's time for the sign-off. Go. I have been your fun player, but you're an idiot saying the sign players. I've been Zeltrix from the Native saying good night and good luck. Keep your family close. If you ever have blow-ups at each other, talk it out with your parents. If you I'm... don't, you're gonna drift. The, you're gonna drift apart so. You're gonna drift apart so fast. You're gonna realize your mistake sooner rather than later. Mm-hmm. I'm the only lively fanboy since I'm asked for 100. And what? Let's now keep your demons spayed or and or neutered. Control the demon population. Three, two, one. Uh, I tried. Anyway, yeah, good night, guys. Take... Later's. <laughs> All right, why, right. Jim? I've been your pink white guardian from the future. You are and fair. Kr. This is Kr36 saying, "Go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja, go, dudes." <laughs> and as always, to start off your day with a kuga thumbs up. <clears throat> and I, of course, have been your Kai's most beloved overlord, real god extraordinary, Diablo 2016. Reminding you that I'm just a passing through Tokyo fan, remember that. And, while I wish that we had been able to do it tonight, right, on Sunday, folks, it's time that we celebrate right, the channel's sixth anniversary. With Godzilla 2014. Mm -hmm. Though that, though the song isn't in the movie, it's still awesome. Yes, absolutely. Wait, is it? Is it in King of the Monsters? Is it in King of the Monsters? Pop? Yes, it's, it's in King of the Monsters. Oh, thank God! I you do not waste Serge Tankian on a fucking soundtrack. You. You include him in the actual. You include him in the actual. No, you do not. Anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, people, look forward to that. Uh, we of course have, of course, our continuing power. We're months. We're months next week. This week as well. I was have to quickly look? make the playlist for the for the to use later later on in the month. But. Uh, <clears throat> but in addition to that, we also have uh j have the second half of Jinlock to look forward to. Or we get the punk gray hat to give him more. Yeah, but uh, folks, what folks? In about two two weeks, we will not have be able to do as much because it's back. Has summer's has fall semester start starts on the fourteenth. So school well, sucks. Co it's college, edge du dude. Fair enough. School sucks. College sucks. Both suck. Fair enough. Anyway. Uh, have a good night, folks. Take care. Air. And we'll see you all next time. Bye! 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 Bye. Bye.